Chapter 1241 Chang Hao Translator Born to be these foundation-forging disciples directly charged at Long Chen, brandishing their fists. Although they hadn't released their auras and were just relying on the power of their physical bodies, there were too many of them, with hundreds of them charging at him at the same time. Long Chen's fists and legs were in a flurry, unable to stop them all. He felt a punch land on his back, as well as a kick to his butt. That punch and kick were powerful. An ordinary foundation forging expert would definitely cough up blood from them. Do you all have some illness? I came here to pay my respects to the sect, roared Long Chen furiously. These fellows were too uncivilized. You're the one who's sick, and even if you aren't, we'll beat you until you are, cried one of the heaven-splitting battle sect's disciples. Long Chen raged. Are you all idiots? Do you not know how to talk Ria Fuck? I get it now. Long Chen suddenly recalled how Feng Zingli had told him that when he went to the heaven-splitting battle sect, he could talk anything except reason. That was because no one here would talk that kind of thing with him. Fuck. You think I'm easy to bully. Hm Long Chen was no longer so polite. He directly brushed aside one person's punch and landed his own fist on his nose. With a pained groan, that person retreated while holding his nose. Tears streaming down his face. That wasn't from emotion. Even with his nose bleeding, that person didn't give up. With a furious curse, he rejoined the fray. Fuck. How painful. Long Chen sent another one of the disciples flying when a fist landed on the back of his head, raising a large bump. He didn't know how these heaven-splitting battle sect's disciples possessed such strange power. There was some kind of energy within their punches that caused continuous destruction to a person's physical body making it impossible to heal quickly. Long Chen now realized why those previous disciples would be beaten into such a sorry state without using their heavenly Tao energy to heal. The reality of it wasn't that they didn't want to, but that these injuries would take a certain amount of time before fading. In truth, this was the result of the heaven-splitting battle sect's special core technique, the battle god sacred cannon. Its power was extremely domineering. If a person was slapped by the heaven-splitting battle sect's disciples, they would be doomed. That mark on their faces wouldn't heal without several days' time. Holding the egg-sized bump on his head, Long Chen became infuriated. Seeing three of the disciples charging at him, Long Chen viciously sent out a kick at one of them. Long Chen didn't hold back with this kick. That guy flew back, smashing into the crowd behind him. Long Chen then smashed his fists at the heads of the two others. Now Long Chen was truly infuriated. As a result, both those people's heads caved in and they were knocked unconscious. Long Chen grabbed their legs and began to ruthlessly whirl them around, using them as human weapons. Miserable cries rang out as a mass of people around him were knocked back. You think I'm easy to bully? I just don't like going crazy, because even I'm afraid of myself when I'm crazy. Long Chen was like a furious lion that had been provoked by a pack of wolves. His fists danced, beating back those disciples. Although these disciples were foundation forging experts, the majority of them were rank 5 or rank 6 celestials. Furthermore, they were competing with Long Chen in terms of physical strength. They naturally started to suffer when Long Chen became angry. Damn it, this brat's fists are hard. We have to idea one of them was in the midst of formulating a battle plan when Long Chen's kick landed on his butt, blowing him into the sky. At first, these people had been ganging up on Long Chen, but now it was Long Chen hunting them down, causing them to yell and scream. Long Chen ignored their cries. Whenever he caught up to one, he'd beat them up. In less than an incense stick's worth of time, the majority of them were on the ground, while the rest had miserably fled. We're done. We're not fighting. Count yourself badass cried someone. Only then did Long Chen pause. But what shocked Long Chen was that despite him having beaten these fellows miserably, they quickly recovered to normal. The injuries he left on them quickly vanished. While on the other hand, the scars caused by blows between them in the confusion ended up staying longer. Fuck. We came to welcome you. Did you have to be so heavy-handed grumbled one of them as he shook out his arm. Just now, his arm had been broken by Long Chen. Let me warn you. If you keep acting like this. You won't have any friends, mumbled another. The two of them had only just spoken when a figure appeared and kicked them both. 
sending them flying. Little brats, a loss is a loss. Is there a point to grumbling? And what was that crap about making friends? Are you trying to dupe our guest? Cursed a large man that was like an iron tower. Third uncle, Long Chen was delighted to see Feng Zingli, the one who had come to assist him in the eastern wasteland. Ha ha ha, you're not bad, little fellow. You're getting stronger. Come with me. After saying that, Feng Zingli once more cursed the disciples who had been beaten, cursing them for being useless and not being able to beat a single person with so many of them working together. Those disciples lowered their heads and didn't say a word. When Feng Zingli and Long Chen left, they once more became lively. At first, some of them were guessing Long Chen's origins, and then they discussed the battle just now. As a result of this discussion, it was like gunpowder had ignited. One person said that another person didn't know how to cooperate. Another said that he misunderstood. And as a result, before Long Chen and Feng Zingli got far, they once more began fighting. Long Chen was speechless. Weren't these people too warlike? They just fought whenever they wanted. Children just have that kind of temperament. Young people are lively and full of energy. So fighting often isn't a bad thing. It'll make them tougher. Explained Feng Zingli. With admiration, he continued. Little fellow, you're quite amazing. I'm probably not your match any longer. Third uncle overpraises me. How could I dare be arrogant in front of you? I'm indebted to you for teaching me the fourth form of split the heavens. It allowed me to escape death several times and defeat my powerful enemies. I won't forget that favor, said Long Chen. Feng Zingli shook his head. Don't say such words in the future, or you'll get beaten. Our heaven-splitting battle sect doesn't have so many lousy rules. We're all direct men. What favor, what gratitude. Just remember it in your heart and it's fine. If you say it out loud, the flavor changes and our heaven-splitting battle sect doesn't like that. You should treat this place as your home, or you'll be beaten. Well, to sum up, you'll probably get beaten no matter what within the heaven-splitting battle sect. So just prepare yourself. What the fuck? Long Chen suddenly had a bad feeling. It seemed his trip to the heaven-splitting battle sect wasn't going to go as he had planned. Passing the mountain entrance. He saw a mass of mountains. They were all rocky mountains without any vegetation growing on them. And all the buildings were built out of rocks. It was very simple. Walking through. Long Chen saw that there weren't many people in the heaven splitting battle sect. Feng Zingli explained. The heaven splitting battle sect has already lost its old splendor. Right now. There are only 13,000 disciples. There are 10,000 outer sect disciples and 3,000 inner sect disciples. How is that possible? Long Chen was shocked at how low that number was. The Heaven Earth Divine Spring has a limited amount of energy, and there's not enough for more disciples to cultivate. There's no way to avoid this, but this isn't that bad either. Quality is better than quantity. After all, only top geniuses will be able to raise the sect's prestige, said Feng Zingli. Although he seemed calm, Long Chen could hear the worry in his voice as they walked through the sect. Feng Zingli asked about Long Chen's experiences after arriving in the Central Plains. When he heard of the trouble he caused, he laughed. Excellent. I bet you'll definitely be to the old man's taste. Who is the old man? Asked Long Chen. The old man is our sect master. But our heaven-splitting battle sect doesn't really take that many disciples. The majority of our current disciples are descendants of the experts in the inner sect so no one calls him the sect master. Just the old man, said Feng Zingli. Eventually, they arrived in a large plaza. In truth, it was a huge mountain that had been severed at the waist to form the plaza. When they arrived, Long Chen saw over a thousand disciples standing there, all of them foundation forging experts. What caused his heart to shake was that these people were clearly true experts. They were different from the people he had encountered at the entrance. These were experts who had lived through the slaughter of the battlefield and their sharp auras were the result of bathing in blood and fire. These are all inner sect disciples, the elites of the heaven-splitting battle sect in the outside world. Each one of them has the power to fight across realms. They are the future pillars of our sect, said Feng Zingli with both gratification and pride. Most of these disciples were rank 5 celestials, some were rank 6, and there were dozens of rank 7 celestials. 
This lineup was truly powerful. Most importantly, they were true experts. Their killing intent was reserved right now, but they were elites unafraid of death. Just at this moment, a large man walked out from amongst them. He had sword-like eyebrows and the mouth of a lion. He was a rank 8 celestial. How powerful. Long Chen's heart shook. This was his first time feeling such immense pressure from a rank 8 celestial. He had already killed multiple rank 8 celestials. Those ancient race and blood kill halls rank 8 celestials had been incredibly powerful. But even when those five people had joined hands against him, he hadn't felt as much pressure as he did just by seeing this person. How could he not be shocked? Chang Hao, the large man cupped his fists toward Long Chen. Long Chen. Long Chen returned the etiquette. Feng Zingli smiled. Long Chen. Chang Hao is one of our top experts in your generation. According to the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect's few rules, he will definitely challenge you to a fight. That's a sign of his respect for you. Because if he felt you weren't worth it, he could challenge anyone else. To sum it up, if you aren't able to satisfy everyone with your power, you won't be able to truly join the sect. The fiery light in those disciples' eyes grew stronger after Feng Zingli finished speaking. They were full of expectations. You're very powerful. I trust you won't decline. Chang Hao looked at Long Chen, his eyes full of battle intent. Chapter 1242 Challenge Translator Born to be Chang Hao looked at Long Chen, battle intent soaring out of him. Long Chen could tell that this wasn't malice, but a desire to fight against another expert. Chang Hao, with your current cultivation, this is somewhat bullying. Feng Zingli frowned slightly. His original intent had been for Long Chen to go pick his own opponent, but now that Chang Hao put it like this, there was no chance for Long Chen to retreat. And with Long Chen's character, he would accept this challenge no matter what. Chang Hao was a rank 8 celestial and his cultivation base had reached the ninth heaven stage of foundation forging, while Long Chen was only at the fifth heaven stage. Most importantly, Long Chen hadn't gone through the heaven-splitting battle sect's baptism, which put him at an immense disadvantage. Third uncle, you don't understand. I can sense a strong feeling of danger from him. Other than me, no one else here is his match. I want to fight against him. Chang Hao shook his head. Chang Hao's words made Feng Zingli jump. He didn't know much about Long Chen, but he was profoundly aware of Chang Hao's power. He himself, a king, didn't have any assurance in being able to defeat Chang Hao. For Chang Hao to actually sense an intense feeling of danger from Long Chen meant that Long Chen should have the power to defeat Chang Hao. Let's forget about it. Fighting isn't my specialty. Long Chen was a bit hesitant. Are you looking down on me? Chang Hao's expression instantly sank. Long Chen bitterly smiled. No, if we don't have an all-out battle, it won't be enjoyable. But if we do go all out, I tend to not be able to control myself perfectly. Fighting truly isn't my specialty. Long Chen's specialty wasn't fighting. He was only proficient in killing people. That kind of battle where each attack was launched with the intent of killing his opponent was not a simple competition. Ha ha ha. Domineering. But I like it. Don't worry, you can fight with your full strength. You won't be able to kill me. Chang Hao laughed confidently. Wait a moment. I need to report this first. Feng Zingli didn't dare to be the one to decide about this. If they want to fight, let them fight. What are you reporting it for? When did your guts shrink to this point? Are you a mouse? At this time, a middle-aged man walked over. Seeing that person, all the disciples immediately stood up straight. They respectfully cried out, Seventh boss. Feng Zingli also bowed toward him. As a result, that seventh boss immediately kicked him, cursing. Were all your years of living wasted? You even have to report such an insignificant matter? Just look at how cowardly you are. You're afraid of accepting the responsibility Feng Zingli bitterly smiled, not daring to reply. He was naturally afraid. It wasn't that he was afraid of accepting responsibility for this. But what if these two ended up in an unexpected accident? He was just a king. Perhaps he might have some ability to fight Long Chen or Chang Hao. But if the two were to start an intense fight, he wouldn't be able to control it. What if something unexpected happened? Now he had a belly full of fire, and yet he didn't dare to release it. He knew that if he said one more word, 
This seventh boss would definitely beat him. Hurry up and start. Show us how much ability you have. A battle is not a game. So use all your skills. You don't need to worry about any problems. I'll handle it, said the seventh boss. Feng Zingli's lips curled. Of course there was nothing for the seventh boss to worry about. After all, he was strong enough to handle whatever happened. If Feng Zingli had that kind of power, he could also act like that. But he didn't dare to voice those thoughts. Within the heaven-splitting battle sect, what was important wasn't age and seniority. What mattered the most was whose fist was bigger. Whoever's fist was bigger was who could speak. If you didn't have any ability, then you had to keep your mouth shut. Long Chen, let's have a fun battle. It's been a long time since I've fought all out. I feel my blood heating up. Chang Hao tossed his outer robes to someone behind him, revealing a set of battle robes. Chang Hao was a whole head taller than Long Chen. His exposed arms looked like they were crawling with serpents. They were full of explosive power. Then I won't argue with you. Let's have a full power fight. Long Chen took a deep breath. Since there was someone here to control everything, he didn't have so many misjivings. In truth, Long Chen also longed to have a battle with a true expert. He also had warlike blood flowing through his veins. Then I'll start. Chang Hao stamped on the ground. The ground shook violently as he shot at Long Chen with just the power of his physical body. Without using any magical art or any battle skill, his fist caused space to tremble. It was like this fist was about to tear straight through space. This was the result of his physical body having reached a certain pinnacle. This kind of power was absolutely terrifying. That barbarian elephant race's genius was claimed to possess an unrivaled physical body. Yet when compared to Chang Hao, the difference was immense. Long Chen narrowed his eyes, shifting his right foot back. He also sent out a punch. Boom. Their fists collided, causing the entire plaza to shake. A powerful qi wave exploded. That qi wave was enough to exterminate ordinary foundation forging experts. Even these experts of the heaven-splitting battle sect were shocked. Some of the weaker ones involuntarily retreated a few steps. But their gazes were completely fiery. Power was worshipped by the heaven-splitting battle sect's disciples. Absolute power had an absolute charisma toward them. Their fists were still locked. Both sides looked at the other, and their auras slowly rose. Boom. Their other fists also collided. The ground violently shuddered. Long Chen was shocked. He felt Chang Hao's power continuously rising. This was the strongest physical body Long Chen had witnessed so far. Careful. I'm increasing my power, warned Chang Hao. Rumbling sounds came from his body as his power increased like a rising tide. Long Chen had to start circulating the power of his 108,000 immortal platforms to keep up with him. The ground beneath them was unable to bear their power and started to crack. The seventh boss had praise in his eyes as he watched. This kind of power was truly worthy of admiration. The heaven-splitting battle sect cared the most about power. Ha ha ha. How powerful. But I still haven't released my full power. Watch out. Chang Hao suddenly laughed. Runes appeared all around him as he summoned the manifestation of a rank 8 celestial. His power crazily soared. Just as Chang Hao summoned his manifestation, a divine ring appeared in the air, unleashing immense pressure. A sacred aura shook everyone's hearts. The ground under them was shattering. That hard rock suddenly exploded like it was mud. This Long Chen is truly powerful. He's actually able to match Chang Hao in power, said one of the rank 7 celestials with shock. But that person had only just spoken when Long Chen warned. Be careful. Four stars appeared in his eyes. Green scales covered his body. A pillar of chi soared into the sky, breaking apart all the clouds. Seeing how powerful Chang Hao was, Long Chen didn't hold back. He directly summoned the four star battle armor and green dragon battle armor. Battle God Blessing. A rune appeared on Chang Hao's forehead. Following that, runes appeared all over his skin, forming a protective armor. Chang Hao instantly felt like a king who had donned battle armor. His own immense power crashed against Long Chen's mountain toppling power. Powerful Qi waves blew away the disciples. Even rank 7 celestials were unable to bear it. Rock fragments were shooting out with great power. Several disciples were pierced through and hastily fled. Even Feng Zingli's expression changed. He had underestimated their power. When they erupted with their full power, 
Even he had to retreat a certain distance. Only the seventh elder could continue watching indifferently. Any flying rocks that shot at him were blocked by an invisible barrier and turned to dust. And yet, the two of them didn't stop. Their power continued to rise. A huge hole began to appear around them, constantly growing larger. Chang Hao's a monster, and Long Chen is also a monster. The two of them are so strong. The heaven-splitting battle sect's disciples were absolutely shocked. Although they had often fought, they only fought with their physical bodies, as those were the rules. Due to their explosive temperaments, the heaven-splitting battle sect's disciples would often start fighting at the drop of a pin. If there weren't some restrictions, they would tear down the sect of course. The heaven-splitting battle sect had established itself in the middle of a mountain range for a reason. All the disciples could fight whenever they wanted. As long as they didn't use spiritual energy to use battle skills, it was fine. Anyone who broke that rule would be beaten. Since it was not permitted to fight all out, even these disciples hadn't known that Chang Hao was this powerful. Seeing their shocking power, they sucked in a cold gasp. Those fellows who constantly challenged Chang Hao every day were especially shocked. Normally they only fought with their physical bodies, and by fighting as a group, they were usually able to land a punch or two on Chang Hao. Although they had known he was stronger than them, they had thought they would have some ability to fight him. But now that he was using his true power, they realized the difference between them. In a true life and death battle, they weren't Chang Hao's match. Boom. Suddenly, the ground exploded and dust filled the air. Two figures soared into the air, their fists flying. The true battle had just started. The term that I have translated as boss here is not an exact translation. This word is supposed to mean a senior man with authority while also sounding arrogant. Literally this character means grandpa, but the emphasis is that it is a manly, senior man. This term is essentially like an elder or grand elder in other sects, but it is given this special title in the heaven-splitting battle sect to emphasize how it is different from other sects. Manlier, crazier, feeling almost more like a gang than a sect. I couldn't find any word that fit the bill, so I shifted my focus a bit, rather than something literal like seventh gramps which is lacking the authority and arrogance to the word or just ditching the meaning completely and calling him seventh elder. I'm going with seventh boss. Beware, for this term is not the same word that the Dragonblood Legion calls Long Chen when they call him boss. The Dragonblood Legion calls Long Chen eldest brother. While here, it is more like a leader, an elder, a literal boss. However, I actually like the usage of boss here because it ties into how everyone in this sect calls themselves like how Long Chen calls himself when being arrogant. There's no way to show that literally unless I start having everyone, including Long Chen, refer to themselves as I, your daddy. So this is kind of an alternate way to show how they use similar language but with a different word. Chapter 1243 Heaven Earth Divine Pool Translator Born to be Long Chen and Chang Hao soared into the sky like two furious dragons coiling around each other. Their fists and legs were constantly colliding, unleashing ear-piercing bangs. A terrifying pressure descended. As the two of them began to fight with their full strength, the disciples were unable to even track them with their eyes. They were only able to make out two vague figures crazily fighting. What an absolute monster. The heaven-splitting battle sect's disciples were all shocked as they looked up at the sky. Long Chen was shocked that Chang Hao's physical body was so powerful. It wasn't the slightest bit weaker than his own. Each time they clashed, his chi and blood surged within him. Other than wild, he had never seen an expert with such a terrifying physical body. Each kick and punch contained the power to break mountains. This was his first time fighting someone who could match his physical body. Each of their exchanges was direct without the slightest technique or flashiness. They were competing purely in power. When they used their full power, each of their attacks was definitely a killer blow. Each punch caused space to wildly twist. If these disciples weren't personally witnessing it, they definitely wouldn't have believed that physical strength could cause such a phenomenon. Not bad. With this power, fighting across realms in the outside world would be no problem. The seventh boss stood with his hands clasped behind his back, nodding slightly. Although the heaven-splitting battle sect's disciples were few in number, each one of them was an elite amongst elites. 
The reason they encouraged their disciples to beat each other up was due to their special cultivation technique. Intense battle would stimulate the growth of their bodies, and once they recovered from the beating, their physical bodies would be even stronger. When they felt the disciples weren't beating each other up hard enough, the elders would find various reasons to give them a special beating. Sometimes it was to help the disciples improve their circulation and stretch their muscles. Of course, most of the time the reason was that their explosive tempers needed venting. Boom. The two of them suddenly separated. Long Chen and Chang Hao looked at the other and suddenly laughed. Their laughter full of joy at meeting someone so similar. Both of them sensed heartfelt admiration for the other. Neither Long Chen or Chang Hao often had a chance to fight in such a free and exciting way. That was especially true for Long Chen, who never had a chance to fight without having to think about schemes. Suddenly, a broadsword appeared in Chang Hao's hand. This was the specific weapon of the heaven-splitting battle sect's disciples. They all preferred terrifyingly heavy weapons. Although they weren't sword cultivators, each disciple would carry a broadsword on their back. That was the specific sign of the heaven-splitting battle sect because the broadsword was so heavy. Carrying it all the time was also a kind of cultivation. With the broadsword in his hand, it was like a seal had been undone within Chang Hao's body. A fierce aura soared into the sky. The heaven-splitting battle sect's broadswords were made in accordance with a person's cultivation base. Only once they took out this broadsword would it represent they were truly fighting. It's been a long time since I've had this much fun. Long Chen. Do you want to make it even more stimulating battle intent continuously soared from Chang Hao's eyes. In fact, his eyes were almost crazy, like he was a battle fanatic. Other than battle, he didn't think of anything else. Don't mess around. Feng Zingli's expression changed, but he had just finished shouting when he was kicked away. Scram. If I didn't say anything, why would you say something? If they want to fight, let them fight, said the seventh boss. He had clearly been a great distance from him, and yet when he sent out his kick, he magically appeared beside Feng Zingli. The seventh boss knew Feng Zingli was worried about something happening, but that was a slap in his face. It was saying he wouldn't be able to handle it if they continued fighting. Long Chen took out Blood Drinker in response to Chang Hao's action. He knew what Chang Hao wanted to do, and he was using his own actions to reply. After all, we aren't enemies. So there's no way for us to truly fight a life and death battle. Let's determine victory or defeat in one move. Chang Hao's battle intent sword. The heaven splitting battle sect's strongest attack was split the heavens. That was their true trump card. Even after this intense of a fight, they were still even. And since they couldn't truly fight to the death, there was no way they could use any move they wanted. But they were also unwilling to end things just like this. So Chang Hao took out his martial weapon. If they were unable to determine a victory through their fists, then they could have won final exchange. Come. I also want to experience the heaven-splitting battle sect's unique skill. Long Chen raised Blood Drinker. Blood red light began to shine from it. Be careful. Chang Hao slowly raised his broadsword. An incomparably fierce aura locked onto Long Chen. In that instant, Long Chen could clearly sense the change in Chang Hao's body. From his first acupuncture point, his energy began to superimpose. Furthermore, Long Chen sensed that when Chang Hao activated his acupuncture points, his Danshan, which was unleashing a volcanic eruption of energy, suddenly became calm. That calm was a hair-raising calm. It was like a python that had coiled up as tightly as possible right before it launched a fatal blow. Long Chen didn't tarry. His four Qi Cs and 108,000 immortal platforms circulated, pouring endless energy through his acupuncture points. The seventh boss looked at Long Chen with some shock. He could sense that Long Chen was using Split the Heavens, but it was different from the original version. Their weapons began to shine, and huge blade images tore into the sky. That scene was shocking. The Heaven Splitting Battle Sect's disciples all felt their hearts pounding. This power was too great. With how much energy had been accumulated, it could only be unleashed now. If it was interrupted, there was no way to pull it back, and the user would probably die right there and then. They looked toward the seventh boss and saw his expression was still calm. He had no intention of stopping them. Split the heavens for, 
Long Chen and Chang Hao slashed their huge blades down. It was like the attack of a god, filled with a world-destroying pressure. Boom. Space caved in and a terrifying shockwave erupted, blowing back Long Chen and Chang Hao. They both vomited blood, their skin splitting and becoming covered in blood. At this time, the seventh boss waved his hand and it was like an invisible hand had appeared in the air. Their clashing energy was scattered without unleashing even a ripple. Only once that pressure was dissipated did the disciples sigh with relief. If the seventh boss had allowed that energy to run rampant, they would all have been sent flying and heavily injured. Who lived and who died would be up to the mood of the heavens. Long Chen and Chang Hao continued to hack up blood. They felt like all their bones had been broken. That collision of power had been too terrifying, and they themselves hadn't been able to bear it. When Chang Hao unleashed the fourth form of Split the Heavens, the spiritual Yuan in his Danchen had begun to ignite, pouring through his 36 acupuncture points a second time. In that instant, Long Chen had smelled the scent of death. This attack had had the power to kill him. Under that threat, there had been no way for him to hold back. He had poured in all the energy of his immortal platforms into his attack. Even though he had strengthened his body, he was barely able to handle the impact of using up all that energy. But with all his energy sent into this attack, just like Chang Hao, he hadn't had any spiritual Yuan left over to defend himself. As a result, he was almost killed. Just at this moment, a large hand slammed toward Long Chen's chest. Long Chen's hair stood on end. He sensed that if this palm landed, all his bones would be shattered. Long Chen slashed his saber at his attacker's throat. That slash was crafty, vicious, and quick. Not a bad reaction, said his attacker. That person was actually the seventh boss. Shocking Long Chen. The seventh boss raised a single finger and flicked blood drinker away. It flew out of Long Chen's grasp, turning into a blood-colored light that flew into the distance. Boom. Despite Long Chen doing his best to dodge that hand, he was shocked to sense all his bones shatter, and then his vision darkened and he lost consciousness. Long Chen lay limply in the seventh boss's hold, then the seventh boss disappeared. When he reappeared, he was in front of a 300-meter pool. That water looked like it had mist within it, and multicolored light shone from it. It contained a powerful and sacred spiritual air. Long Chen was tossed into the pool quickly sinking to the bottom. All the pool's water began to bubble like it was boiling, and mist began to rise from it. All his bones were broken, and he was out of physical strength as well. Now, within this pool, endless energy poured into his empty body. It was like Long Chen was a river that had been dry for countless years and was finally receiving nourishment. He greedily absorbed this energy. Long Chen was unconscious and had no idea that this was the heaven-splitting battle sect's precious and mysterious heaven-earth divine pool. This pool was a marvel of the world. It contained the purest and most primal energy of the world, and it could greatly strengthen a person's body. In the heaven-splitting battle sect, inner sect disciples would have one chance to bathe within this divine pool once they reached the foundation-forging realm. In order to make it the most effective, Experts would first break the disciples' bones before they entered. Then the divine pool's energy would reforge their skeleton and make them even stronger. Furthermore, the person who attacked had to be a supreme expert capable of shattering the disciples' skeleton in one blow. That energy had to be extremely well controlled. At the bottom of the pool, Long Chen began to suck in the energy faster and faster. In the end, it felt like his body had awakened and begun to crazily absorb energy. A whirlpool formed within the pool as energy poured into his body. What a powerful physical body. The divine pool probably doesn't have enough energy. The seventh boss's expression changed. He hadn't expected Long Chen to absorb this much energy. This was just the start, and he had already absorbed ten times the energy of ordinary disciples. If this continued, open the divine spring. Let him absorb as much as he wants. Just as the seventh boss was hesitating over what to do, an ancient and commanding voice rang out. Chapter 1244 Continuous Advancement Translator Born to be old man, the seventh boss looked in a distant direction. It was as if he was peering through space to see the elder sitting at the peak of the mountain. But there's not much left of the divine spring. At best, it can last us a thousand years. If the seventh boss was hesitant, where did so much bullshit come from? 
No matter how poor my heaven-splitting battle sect becomes, do you think I'll allow my children to starve? Open the divine spring, and let him absorb as much as possible. This is his good fortune. Since I've accepted him as a disciple of my heaven-splitting battle sect, he is part of my family. You think I can mistreat him? If the heavens want my heaven-splitting battle sect to die, do you think a thousand years is enough to turn things around? Truly foolish to the peak. If you're doomed to die, no one can stop it. And if you're not doomed to die, there will always be a chance to turn things around. Don't you think your fears are groundless? Is your skin itchy after not being beaten for a few centuries fine? Your fist is the strongest. So I can't out-argue, said the seventh boss helplessly. He reached out and pressed down on a formation disc beside him. The heaven-earth divine pool trembled, and then its bottom slowly opened. There was actually a spirit spring below it that was slowly pouring up. The water had already sunk greatly through Long Chen's crazy absorption, and now it was finally slowly rising. But the speed of its rising was very slow because Long Chen had formed a huge whirlpool that was crazily absorbing the energy. This spirit spring water was the purest energy of the world. It was the most important thing the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect used to raise its disciples. The Heaven Splitting Battle Sect had declined from its former splendor, and the Spirit Spring did not receive enough nourishment. It had been slowly drying up over all this time. Now, all that remained was this final reserve. Lying within the pool, Long Chen felt himself to be a legendary Heaven Devouring Beast. He crazily absorbed that energy, nourishing his body. Back in the Four Nations ancient remnant, he had used medicinal pills to temper his body, allowing it to reach a kind of peak. But this was different. The seventh boss had beaten Long Chen's body into its weakest state. This was like a complete rebirth, and there was an immense difference between this and how he had upgraded his body himself. Suddenly, an explosive sound came from the pool, and a domineering pressure spread from Long Chen's body, causing the lake to shake. He advanced although Long Chen was still unconscious. He had absorbed so much energy that he had stepped into the sixth vestige of foundation forging. The seventh boss waved his hand, and an invisible energy sealed this space, preventing his advancement from causing too much of a disturbance. If the liquid in the heaven-earth divine pool left the pool, it would quickly evaporate into nothingness. Boom. In less than an incense stick's worth of time. Another explosive sound rang out as Long Chen advanced once more. This time, the eruption was twice as strong as the last one, and he reached the seventh vestige. The aura Long Chen was releasing now was even stronger, over ten times greater than before, because the seventh vestige was the barrier between the mid and the late stages. Although they were just one vestige apart, his power went through a heaven toppling transformation. Long Chen's foundation has been accumulating for too long. Even after continuous breakthroughs, his foundation hasn't been shaken at all. And this aura is so powerful that it has already surpassed kings. In the future, he will be an amazing monster, praised the seventh boss. Long Chen finally woke from his unconscious state through this advancement. Sensing his newfound energy, he felt like he had been reborn. And he raised his head and laughed. Ha <laughs> ha Long Chen flew out of the divine pool and had only managed to laugh for an instant when the seventh boss slammed his palm out, once more shattering Long Chen's bones and tossing him into the pool. The huge whirlpool once more formed, and this time it was even greater than before. The speed of his absorption had increased. Long Chen was once more unconscious. It felt like he had returned to the state of a fetus in a mother's womb. He was naturally absorbing the pool's energy without having to do anything. This was the kind of absorption that was closest to the heavenly deos. If Long Chen's body had been mud before, then through this tempering, it had been promoted to the level of stone. It was like the difference between heaven and earth. Looking at Long Chen lying at the bottom of the pool, the seventh boss was filled with shock. The amount of energy he had absorbed in just this one go had already surpassed Chang Hao. Each disciple would be knocked unconscious and tossed in three times in a row and Long Chen had already absorbed more energy than Chang Hao had in total, and his second run was even more shocking. The Heaven-Earth Divine Pool's tempering would give more energy to a person based on how strong the physical body and how great the potential they had. 
That was because the divine pool poured in energy in an attempt to excavate a person's natural potential. He's practically a demon. The seventh boss shook his head. The power of Long Chen's body had far surpassed his expectations. Whether or not he is a demon, he is still my family's child. There's nothing to feel begrudged over. Don't be stingy, and continue opening the heaven-splitting divine spring. The old man's voice once more rang out. The seventh boss helplessly waved his hand and touched a stone pillar. Its runes lit up, and another divine spring was opened up. More and more water was pouring out from below, and all that energy was being absorbed by Long Chen. After two hours, Long Chen suddenly opened his eyes, a brilliant light shining within them. His energy once more erupted, and a hurricane formed around him as he entered the eighth heaven stage. The seventh boss waved his hand, stopping the water from escaping. He also once more sent out a palm, sealing all of Long Chen's escape routes. Again, Long Chen suddenly unleashed Lai Long and Huo Long. Double dragon destruction when he unleashed the lightning dragon and flame dragon. Long Chen clearly felt they were now mismatched. Lai Long's power was now weaker than Huo Long's by too much, making it so they no longer had their old combined power. An insignificant technique. The seventh boss smiled and smashed them apart with a single fist. But once he destroyed the two dragons, his smile also vanished because Long Chen's hands had caught his fist. Then using a strange move, he fiercely spun, his head facing down while one of his legs came from above. The seventh boss was a powerful expert in his own right with plentiful battle experience, but he had never seen such a strange move. Startled, he didn't know what Long Chen was doing. Take this, but this spin was only to draw his attention. Long Chen's other foot viciously slammed into the seventh boss's nose. The seventh boss felt a burst of pain and involuntarily teared up. Enraged, he roared, little bastard, you're asking for a beating. Light appeared on the seventh boss's fist, and Long Chen's sleeves were instantly blown apart along with his hands. The seventh boss's foot landed squarely on Long Chen's chest, causing him to vomit blood. His bones once more shattered, and he fell into the pool. Fuck. How painful. The seventh boss held his nose and cursed, his tears streaming out from how vicious that kick had been. Ha 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 ha. The old man's laughter rang out. He clearly felt it was funny that the seventh boss would suffer like this. What are you laughing about? I was just careless roared the seventh boss. He had only just finished cursing when an invisible hand appeared and slammed into him. At the same time, the old man's cursing rang out. Who do you think you're quiddling with? The seventh boss hastily raised his arms. Runes appeared on his fists, but he was still blown away by that invisible hand, tumbling back into the distance. When he crawled up, he was covered in dust, looking miserable. Old man, just you wait. Sooner or later, I'll make you kneel before me, roared the seventh boss. With just your little ability, you should give up that thought. I probably won't be able to live to see such a day, said the old man disdainfully. Just at this moment, green scales appeared on Long Chen's body. Those scales had small whirlpools form above them, and they also greedily absorbed the divine pool's energy. Old man, these scales seem like dragon scales. That aura is very similar, said the seventh boss with surprise. Long Chen had summoned the green dragon battle armor before, but because of Long Chen's aura obscuring it, the seventh boss hadn't cared too much about it. He had thought it to be a kind of secret art. They don't seem like dragon scales. They are truly dragon scales. Furthermore, they are the scales of the dragon with the noblest bloodline. The true dragon. For his scales to be green, it should be the scales of a true dragon's first level. Even in the immortal era when the dragon race was still around, true dragons were rare. Now, these dragon scales are helping him strengthen his body. That means Long Chen should have received the dragon race's approval. This little fellow has had some good fortune, said the old man. But isn't the dragon race extinct? How could he receive their approval? Fool, if the books say they're extinct, does that mean they're definitely extinct? Just because you can't see something doesn't mean it doesn't exist. You can't see gods anymore. But can you say gods no longer exist, said the old man irritably. Fine. Like I said, your fist is stronger, so I can't out-argue said the seventh boss helplessly. Do you believe me when I say I'll slap you right now if you speak like that to me? 
raged the old man. Just at this moment, a strange sound came from the divine pool. The seventh boss hastily looked over, and his pupils involuntarily shrank. Chapter 1245 Ninth A Vestige of Foundation Forging Translator Born to be the water of the divine pool had run out. Long Chen had sucked two of the divine spring's water dry. Old man, the seventh both hesitated. The old man sank into thought for a moment before saying, Open the final divine spring. The seventh boss hastily cried out, Old man, if the final divine spring is sucked dry, then our heaven-splitting battle sect will end with this generation. The heaven-splitting battle sect only had three divine springs. At this time, there was no way for the three divine springs to produce new spring water. What they were using was their reserves saved from their past glory. If this final bit was used up, the heaven-splitting battle sect's inheritance would end here. Without the tempering of the divine pool, the disciples would be unable to strengthen their physical bodies, and the fourth form of split the heavens would be their limit. This was a huge matter of grave importance to the heaven-splitting battle sect. Open it. If the heavens really want my heaven-splitting battle sect to die, we don't have the power to stop it. There's no difference between dying sooner or later, sighed the old man. The seventh boss also sighed. He pressed his hand against another stone pillar. The pool shook slightly as another divine spring was opened, and gushing water poured in. This was the final divine spring. Once it was used, the heaven-splitting battle sect would have no more divine springs for future generations. The divine spring quickly filled up the entire pool. Long Chen's scales rapidly absorbed the energy. This final divine spring contained the most energy. It surpassed the sum of the previous two divine springs. The seventh boss was controlling things so that it didn't overflow. But he quickly realized that after the water reached a certain level, it stopped rising. That meant all its reserves had been used up. That made a sad light appear in his eyes. No matter how magnanimous a person was, there was no way they could treat this as nothing. After all, this would decide the future rise or decline of the heaven-splitting battle sect on his own. Long Chen had absorbed almost the whole stock for the heaven-splitting battle sect's next thousand years. That was absolutely shocking. Long Chen's body was like a bottomless pit that wouldn't fill up no matter what. Long Chen's potential is unimaginable. Any other disciple would have long since exploded upon absorbing this much energy. Furthermore, the Divine Spring's energy only supposed to strengthen the physical body and one's potential. It's basically unrelated to cultivation base. But Long Chen absorbed so much energy that he broke through consecutively. This is already abnormal. This child isn't ordinary, so let him do as he pleases. Even if it causes the heaven-splitting battle sect to decline. We have to act in accordance with our original hearts. Being afraid of the wolf in front and afraid of the tiger behind isn't the style of our heaven-splitting battle sect, said the old man. Yes, the seventh boss's heart shook. He nodded. At this time, the water reached rock bottom. Long Chen's scales began to shine, and a powerful pressure erupted. He's actually advancing again, cried the seventh boss. Long Chen slowly opened his eyes. His energy formed a pillar of light that soared into the sky. Heaven and earth trembled intensely. Suddenly, a crack appeared on the border of the divine pool, causing the seventh boss's expression to completely change. Little bastard, don't advance in the divine pool. Scram up to the sky. Long Chen was unable to control himself. He had reached the limit of how far he could possibly break through, making it so his energy was not completely within his control. A vast energy was about to explode out of him. The continuous advancements caused his 108,000 immortal platforms to store up a ridiculous amount of energy. Long Chen hastily stamped on the ground and shot into the air. Boom. The rocks at the bottom of the divine pool blew into the air, causing the seventh boss to turn green. He hastily checked the core and found that it hadn't been destroyed, allowing him to sigh with relief. If he broke it. I'd beat him until he pissed out everything he took, muttered the seventh boss as he closed the divine pool. He looked up at Long Chen. Long Chen was standing in the air, his entire face red and his body inflating. He looked like a prawn being boiled. Are you constipated? I hear the seventh boss had only just shouted when he was sent flying by a palm. The old man's furious row rang out. Can you not be so embarrassing? 
He is using his erupting spiritual yuan to once more widen his meridians. Long Chen truly was trying to use this torrent of energy to expand his meridians. He was not a disciple of the heaven splitting battle sect, and he didn't cultivate the battle god sacred canon. Normally, the heaven splitting battle sect's disciples would use the heaven earth divine pool's blessing to stimulate their dantians into widening their meridians to better fit their new bodies. But Long Chen cultivated the nine star hegemon body art. His dantian was empty, and so he was unable to use it to widen his meridians. With his cultivation experience, he knew that if he wanted to adapt to his new body and new spiritual yuan, he had to widen his meridians. Otherwise, no matter how much energy he possessed, if the channels weren't wide enough, he would be unable to use it. Having power but not being able to use it was useless. He was using his own method to widen his meridians through the power of his continuous breakthroughs. Rumbling rang out from Long Chen's body. Each rumble represented his meridians had widened. This kind of suicidal method shocked the seventh boss. This was too crazy. Even the heaven-splitting battle sect's disciples with their powerful physical bodies wouldn't dare to do such a thing. Meridians could not be treated so crazily. Their flexibility was limited, and if pushed past their limit, they would easily explode. Broken meridians were extremely troublesome to heal. Too crazy. The seventh elder shook his head. In just a few breaths time, Long Chen had widened his meridians seven times, and he was still continuing. In truth. There was no way this was a real method of widening one's meridians. Long Chen's meridians were covered in cracks right now and about to break. But after widening, Long Chen would use the primal chaos space's energy to heal them and then once more widen them. This kind of opportunity wouldn't come again just because he wished it. He had to do his best to widen his meridians as much as possible before his breakthrough came to an end. His 108,000 immortal platforms had a huge amount of energy now, but without the strong meridians, he couldn't use that energy. It was like he owned a huge lake, but could only send out water through little streams. What he needed to do was turn those streams into mighty rivers. That was the only way for him to match the power of his body. His meridians widened, cracked, and then healed over and over. Long Chen suddenly coughed up a mouthful of blood. The energy in his body was too berserk, and he was doing his best to suppress it to prevent his breakthrough from ending. Now that energy was starting to cause a backlash. This energy was too terrifying. Long Chen continuously coughed up blood, but he ignored it, doing his best to widen his meridians. After going through the nourishment of the Heaven Earth Divine Pool, even Long Chen was unable to tell just how terrifying his new body was. Right now. His body was still highly malleable, but once he was past this point, his meridians would become set in size once more and highly difficult to widen. Continuous explosions came from Long Chen's body, and in the end, his skin broke apart and blood poured out of him, dyeing him red. The seventh boss's heart pounded. This was too ruthless. The heaven-splitting battle sect's disciples didn't need to suffer one bit through this tempering, but Long Chen was torturing himself. Furthermore, this was incredibly dangerous. The slightest mistake would cause either his meridians to erupt, or his body to explode from holding back all this energy. Despite being a terrifying figure in his own right, the seventh boss couldn't help being worried. Long Chen was dancing on the tip of a blade, but Long Chen had no choice but to dance, because he didn't cultivate the battle god sacred cannon. Old man, did we make a mistake? Should we have let him cultivate the battle god sacred cannon before going through this baptism? The seventh boss sent a message to the old man upon seeing Long Chen covered in blood. Do you think I'm as brainless as you? Long Chen's cultivation technique is far more terrifying than the battle god sacred cannon. Or how do you think he manages to use split the heavens? Furthermore, when he fought Chang Hao, his dantian was clearly completely still. Were you too blind to see it? He doesn't even possess a dantian. So how could he cultivate the battle god sacred cannon? When will you start paying attention to details? Scolded the old man. Suddenly, Long Chen's skin exploded from his body, covering him in bloody mist. It was an extremely alarming sight, but Long Chen was still clenching his teeth and bearing with it. Does this little brat not want his life anymore? The seventh boss's scalp turned numb. 
Long Chen was now on the brink of collapse. If he continued, there would truly be a danger of dying. This child's Dao heart is extremely firm. His path from the eastern wasteland was filled with trials and dangers, slaughter and bones. He fought his way through this path with his life on the line, because he had no other choice but to do so to obtain the things that others obtain easily. My heaven splitting battle sect's disciples are clearly blessed in comparison, sighed the old man. Old man, this little fellow's too ruthless. If he explodes, he'll really die since he hasn't condensed a Yuan spirit. No one would be able to save him, said the seventh boss worriedly. Don't worry about it. This child has experienced so many battles. His sense of danger is sharp. He should know when he has to stop. Although that sounded reasonable. Right now, Long Chen had turned into a figure of blood. Each time his body rumbled, more blood mist would fill the air. It was far too frightening. Fuck. How dare he make me so worried. Once he's done, I'll properly beat him. The seventh boss clenched his teeth and his fists. Each time he saw blood mist explode from Long Chen's body, he was worried Long Chen would die. Long Chen expanded his meridians a total of 36 times before he finally wasn't able to bear it. If he continued holding back his breakthrough, he would definitely die. Gulping down a mouthful of the divine life elixir, his injuries healed. And at the same time, that sealed energy within his body was completely released. Boom. A terrifying aura erupted, shaking the nine heavens. Chapter 1246 Damn Shameless Bastard Translator Born to be the powerful pressure of the ninth vestige of foundation forging erupted, causing the heavens to shake. Seeing Long Chen advance properly, the seventh boss finally sighed with relief, a weight falling from his shoulders. This method of Long Chen's had been too dangerous. However, as Long Chen's aura continued to rise, the pressure grew stronger until the seventh boss began to frown. Nine is the limit, the peak. But his aura, the seventh boss looked at Long Chen suspiciously. According to reason, once a person reached the ninth vestige of foundation forging, their aura should become extremely steady and stable. It wouldn't be as turbulent as Long Chen's. For normal people, in the first vestige, they would condense nine original runes and form a foundation. In the second vestige, they would condense eight runes into a slightly smaller foundation and solidly established it on the first foundation. The third Havenstage condensed seven runes. The fourth Havenstage six runes. Then the ninth Havenstage would condense one supreme rune into the peak. This final rune would link up with the foundation of the nine original runes at the bottom to form an extremely stable structure. That was called the Immortal Platform. Foundation forging was the process of creating this immortal platform. The final rune sealed the whole platform. So once it was condensed, the immortal platform would be complete, and a person's aura would naturally stabilize. But Long Chen had clearly reached the ninth vestige, yet his aura was fluctuating fiercely. It didn't show any sign of that stabilization. Suddenly, the sky shook as Long Chen finished his breakthrough. He looked at his own hands with disbelief. This power, Long Chen felt like he had completely transformed. His body was brimming with power. Even without using any spiritual yuan, he felt like he could destroy mountains with just a punch. Long Chen beat his own chest with his fists, causing thunderous sounds to shake the air. This feeling told Long Chen that he wasn't dreaming. He had advanced from the fifth vestige all the way to the ninth vestige, and through the divine pool. His physical body had been strengthened as well. His body had reached an unprecedented strength. And despite the increase in his cultivation base, he didn't feel the slightest bit like his cultivation base was out of his control. In other words, with his current physical body, he was more than capable of using the power of his powerful cultivation base. The 108,000 immortal platforms were full of energy. But Long Chen found that the Feng Fu, alias, Life Fate, and Enlightenment Palace stars had all changed slightly. And yet, he was unable to clearly say what the difference was. The only major difference was that four whirlpools had appeared in his four chi seas, causing their energy to form an infinite cycle with his 108,000 immortal platforms. Other people's immortal platforms gradually shrank to the top, making them wider at the bottom than the top. But Long Chen's immortal platforms were cylindrical. Each of them contained immense power, 
Each one of them was like a volcano that Long Chen could cause to erupt with a thought. Long Chen was beating his own chest when suddenly a fist landed on his body, causing his organs to flip inside him. He shot out like a shooting star. He blew apart a stone pavilion in the distance and continued tumbling back before stabilizing himself. Not bad. Not bad. This fist was able to break your bones before, but now you don't even cough up blood. The seventh boss stood in the air, nodding in praise. This punch had come from him. Long Chen's physical body had become so strong that even he was shocked. He had used the same power in this punch as when he had first shattered every bone in Long Chen's body. Even though Long Chen hadn't been on guard at all, he only suffered a completely insignificant injury. Long Chen was also shocked at the seventh boss's power. Although his aura clearly showed that his cultivation base was only at the soul transformation, his actual power was terrifying. Those ancient races soul transformation experts weren't even on the same level when compared with the seventh boss. They weren't even fit to carry his shoes. Long Chen looked at the heaven earth divine pool and suddenly saw that it was empty. His heart shook, and he was just about to speak when the seventh boss grabbed him. The two of them vanished. When they reappeared, they were at the peak of a mountain. Terrifying wind blades ruthlessly cut at Long Chen's body, even with his new power. Long Chen felt pain from these wind blades. Tiny cuts appeared all over his body, but he was able to endure it. At the peak of the mountain, inside of a wooden room, there was an elder sitting lotus style. His white hair fell naturally, and his sword-like eyebrows pointed toward the sky. His eyes were electric, and although he was simply sitting there, Long Chen felt like a god was staring at him. His heart pounded. This was a terrifying existence. Behind the elder were six large men with broad swords on their backs. All of them had bare arms and bulging muscles. It was like they were about to explode. These men looked to be in their forties or fifties. They were all square-jawed, direct men. The seventh boss now lined up amongst them. Long Chen suddenly realized that this seventh boss was called so because he was the seventh in terms of seniority here. None of them spoke. They simply stared at Long Chen, their gazes like blades. It was like they wanted to see through him. In front of the staring of this many terrifying experts, Long Chen's scalp turned numb. The pressure was great, but Long Chen couldn't act like a coward. He stared back at them stubbornly. Staring one against eight put him at a disadvantage, but he was still able to do it. He supposed that it counted as holding his own. One against eight. Little bastard. Eat my fist. Suddenly. The large man standing on the very left sent out a punch at Long Chen. Long Chen was shocked. The power behind this fist made his hair stand on end. He definitely couldn't take it. He tried to dodge. As this fist didn't contain any locking power, he could move. But even once he was a dozen meters away, for some reason, the fist was still in front of him. It was like his dodging was nothing more than a misperception. The fist was actually impossible to dodge. Boom. Long Chen flew back, pain racking his body. He felt like his body was about to collapse. He was shocked and infuriated. These fellows were truly uncivilized. This fist is your punishment for not returning home even after arriving in the central plains for so long. You didn't treat the heaven-splitting battle sect as your home, said that person furiously. He then once more smashed out a fist. Long Chen was just about to defend, but while that punch looked slow, it somehow struck him before he could do anything, smashing into his chest. He once more vomited blood and flew back. This fist is to punish you for running into a crisis and not asking your family for help. You don't view us as your family that man's whole face darkened, showing how angry he was. These two punches didn't cause Long Chen to feel any resentment. Instead, he sniffed emotionally. He hadn't thought that the heaven-splitting battle sect which he had yet to properly greet would treat him like this. This third fist. Wait. If you hit me again, you'll regret it. Long Chen suddenly took out a foot-tall wine jug. HMPH. You think an insignificant jug of wine can threaten me? Wait. Could it be that this wine comes from the Wine God Palace? The Wine God Palace's wine was famous within the Central Plains. But the Wine God Palace didn't sell it and if you wanted to drink it, you had to receive the approval of the wine god palace. Experts longing for fine wine viewed it as extraordinarily precious. When they drank it, they would savor every drop. 
The heaven-splitting battle sect had no relationship with the wine god palace, while their people were all explosive and violent, making it so there was no way they would lower themselves to beg for wine. That was why they had long since heard of the wine god palace's wine but had yet to try any. Gulp. An audible gulp rang out in the air. Long Chen was truly evil. He used spiritual yuan to protect the jug from the wind blades, but he intentionally allowed a single wind blade to cut through the top, unleashing a burst of fragrance. All these peak experts had sharp senses, and they were also people who loved wine. They involuntarily swallowed their saliva. HMPH. You want to buy me with a single jug of wine? You're looking down on me. It would take. It would take at least two jars. That person stuck out two fingers. After saying that, this person was sent flying by a kick. It was done by the old man. The person he kicked was the boss of the seven people, and he also had an even more domineering name, Head Boss. After kicking him to the side, the old man looked at Long Chen. Child, you must remember that our heaven splitting battle sect is very simple. Since we've permitted you to use split the heavens, we view you as family. But you don't view us as family back, which is hurtful. You're still young, so I can forgive this mistake once, but just once. I won't allow it a second time. The old man's eyes shone with a warning light. Long Chen realized many things from that look. Ashamed, he said. Junior knows his wrongs. Long Chen rarely admitted his mistakes, but this time was different. After admitting it, he felt more at peace and emotional. He now fully understood what kind of people the heaven-splitting battle sects men were. They were truly odd people, but this kind of emotion was very sincere. Long Chen had struggled in the Zhuanshan Dao sect for a long time before fully trusting Li Shiang Xuan, but in the heaven-splitting battle sect, he instantly felt absolute trust. That was what made him the most emotional. That person you killed in the eastern wasteland was nothing more than a traitor with an impure heart. He was a disgrace to our heaven-splitting battle sect however, he was nothing more than an accident. Our inner sect disciples are all pure-hearted children. They will be your brothers in the future, while we are your elders. No matter what kind of trouble you cause outside, as long as you stand on the side of reason, then even if the heavens collapse, I will hold them up for you. But if you encounter danger and don't ask for help from your family, that's innately a lack of trust. If such a thing happens again, I will no longer acknowledge you as a disciple, warned the old man gravely. Old man, that's about enough. Long Chen has already admitted his wrongs, so why keep nagging him? Child, come, this wine jug is too heavy, so let head boss carry it for you. I wouldn't want your hand to get tired. The head boss had finished scolding Long Chen and now reached out for Long Chen's wine jug but he had only started reaching out when the old man sent him flying with a slap. He furiously cursed. You damn shameless bastard. Chapter 1247 Violent Temper Translator Born to be how am I shameless? As the head boss, am I supposed to refuse when a child shows me his filial respect by giving me a gift? Quibbled the head boss. Despite being blown back, he still held on tightly to the wine jug. How did it become showing filial respect for you? I was the one who ran over to the Grand Shia to protect him in secret. If he's showing filial respect for anyone, it should be for me, declared the seventh boss. Long Chen was surprised to hear that. Seventh boss, you went over to the Grand Shia little brat. Considering how much trouble you caused, how could we be at ease knowing you were facing the ancient races alone? Snorted the seventh boss. Then seventh boss. To Kian Shang, he, he's fine, right? Asked Long Chen. He truly was a bit worried about him. After all, he was only at the Soul Transformation Realm. What a worry ward. That Tu Kian Shang once exchanged blows with me. Do you think he'd have any trouble against those ancient race idiots? Out of those three life star idiots, one was killed. One had his physical body destroyed. And the last one fled while protecting the other's Yuan spirit said the seventh boss. Long Chen was shocked. Tu Kian Chang was far stronger than he had imagined. Even one against three, he had fought across realms and killed one of them. You don't need to be shocked. Eighteen hundred years ago, I encountered that fellow and we fought an intense battle. That battle lasted a day and night, but in the end, both of us got too hungry to keep fighting, 
So instead of wasting more energy, we drank wine together. In truth, Tu Kian Chang is his generation's genius and also a hot-blooded man. But because of his little brother's death, he ended up joining the Wine God Palace. If he could let go of his resentment from back then, he would have long since advanced to the Life Star Realm. Due to you and all the built-up resentment over the years, he immediately went all out at the start. If the ancient races weren't such cowards, they'd have all died to his blade. Furthermore, due to getting to vent his resentment, that fellow will very likely be able to use this opportunity to advance to the Life Star Realm. The seventh boss was full of praise for Tu Kai and Shang. Learning that Tu Kai and Shang was fine put Long Chen at ease. He also couldn't help but find it somewhat funny. Tu Kai and Shang's character was truly to the heaven-splitting battle sect's taste. Old man, this little one didn't have the chance to gather any big gifts this time. But I specifically brought this particular jug of wine for you. This wine is personally made by the Wine God Palace's high priest. Long Chen took out another jug. This was one of the two jugs of peerless wine the high priest had given him. For Long Chen to drink this kind of wine was purely a waste. When he had obtained them, he had first thought to give one to Li Shi Yangxuan and one to the heaven-splitting battle sect. The Wine God Palace's high priest. This time, even the old man stood up. The seven bosses' eyes almost popped out of their sockets as they stared intently at the jug of wine. The old man carefully opened the seal on the jug and a dense fragrance of wine poured out, one that caused all their minds to relax. What a fine wine! The seven bosses all exclaimed in praise. They were all soul transformation experts who had lived for a long time and seen much, but they had never seen such a fine wine. With just a look, with just a sniff, they sensed the aura of the heavenly deos, and even a strange change occurred with their spiritual yuan. The high priest of the wine god palace? Good brat! You actually received his wine? He, you have some skill, praised the old man. The high priest was a supreme existence. Someone even life star experts wouldn't necessarily be qualified to meet. For Long Chen to have received his wine was an enormous honor. He, old man, what do you think you're doing? Why did you take the wine? In any case, you're still going to give us a taste, right? Seeing the old man take the wine with seemingly no intent to share it with them, the others all panicked. This was the wine of the high priest. Even if it was just one drop, they would at least be able to brag about it in the future. This is something Long Chen is gifting me as part of his filial duties. Does it have anything to do with you? Furthermore, with your cultivation basis, drinking this kind of wine is a waste of an absolute treasure. The old man shook his head refusing to give them even one drop. Fuck. Brothers. Charge. The head boss roared furiously, and what made Long Chen's eyes almost pop out was that the others also charged at the old man at the same time, clearly trying to take the wine back. HMPH. A few brats think they can rebel? Could it be that you've called me old man for so long that you actually think I'm old? Scram. The old man roared thunderously and a terrifying chi wave instantly exploded, blowing back the seven of them and causing them to vomit blood. What the fuck? Long Chen suddenly cursed and took out the black pot, hiding his body behind it. Bang! Long Chen was also struck by the chi wave and shot out like a shooting star. He vomited blood, feeling like his bones had been broken as he crashed into a distant mountain. This huge mountain was blown to bits by Long Chen, and when he crawled out from the wreckage, he once more vomited a mouthful of blood. These damn madmen. Long Chen was speechless. He hastily fled to a distant mountain peak, where he had just been. There were the fierce rumblings of an intense battle between powerful experts. Watching such a thing would be extremely beneficial to him. But when he reached the peak of the mountain, he saw the battle had already ended. The old man was holding a pitch black walking cane. The other seven were lying on the ground in pain. All of them were beaten black and blue. The places they were injured had turned as black as the old man's cane. Looking from the black cane to their miserable plight, Long Chen realized that provoking the old man in a fit of passion came with a price. Do you submit? Shouted the old man. I submit. Long Chen jumped and hastily expressed his attitude. This old man's temper was truly violent. The old man glared at him and said, I wasn't talking to you. I was asking these seven little brats, 
The seventh boss crawled up and courageously declared, Just wait, one day I will definitely make you kneel in front of me. Aya the seventh boss was once more sent flying by the cane, and Long Chen even heard the sound of bones breaking. He shivered. This was too ruthless. The seventh boss's terrifying body was still injured so heavily by a whack of a cane. If it had been him instead, he'd probably have exploded. If you don't submit, you can come at me again, declared the old man. But now, the seven of them were covered in black spots and looked incredibly miserable. They had long since lost their previous air of experts. They could recover their spiritual yuan, but the old man's cane was strange. They were unable to expel the black color that seeped into their skin in a short time. This was the price of challenging the sect master's prestige. Long Chen, I heard your guts are big. Do you want to try it as well? The old man turned to Long Chen. Me? Ah, maybe not today. I know how to respect seniority. Long Chen hastily shook his head. Was he joking? Although his guts weren't small, he wasn't an idiot. He wouldn't send himself over just to be beaten. Ah, uh, head boss, don't worry, I still have a bit more wine for us to drink. Can you help me out? In order to alleviate the awkward tension in the air, Long Chen took out a large jug of wine. The wind was too strong on the peak of this mountain, making it so Long Chen couldn't completely block it. He could only ask for help. Hearing that there was still wine for him to drink, the head boss immediately recovered and summoned a barrier that protected Long Chen. Long Chen took out a stone table and some wine bowls. He saw that the seven bosses seemed very depressed after being beaten. Brat, you don't need to worry about sucking up to them. Even once they drink your wine, they'll still beat you when you deserve it. They won't give you any face just because of this wine, warned the old man. That's right, little brat. We won't neglect our teaching and discipline because of this wine. Of course, we'll still give you beatings when we need to said the head boss, as if that was as it should be. He, no problem. A family doesn't need to care about sucking up. Here, have a taste of this fiery wine. Long Chen switched out the wine jars once he heard the head boss's words. He poured all of them a bowl of this new wine. Long Chen felt that these people were truly interesting. This kind of character was truly unique. Long Chen had already drunk two Kian Chang's fiery wine several times before. Now he was able to suppress the impact. But the head boss, second boss, third boss, fourth boss, and seventh boss had never had it. At first, they hadn't sensed anything because of their powerful cultivation basis. But they quickly sensed their blood starting to heat up. Their courage grew and exchanging a glance, they suddenly charged at the old man all at once. Bye. Long Chen scuttled away, putting away the table and the wine. He hastily flew out a mile when he was sent flying by a terrifying chi wave. It was like a mountain had crashed into him, and he almost vomited blood. The fight had already begun. Tumbling into the distance, Long Chen's head was rattling as he tried to stabilize himself. When he managed to look back over, he saw the seven bosses charging at the old man. The old man waved his cane, and black images filled the air, almost as if darkness was enveloping the world. Bang, 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 bang. Ah, I you fuck. Screaming and cursing rang out. When those black images disappeared, they revealed the old man standing in the air, with the seven bosses lying on the ground like dead dogs. The fourth boss had suffered the most, with his body stuck in the rock and only his legs sticking out. Long Chen was struck dumb. The old man was truly powerful. Even one against seven. It was like he was beating children. Old man. You're so powerful and domineering Long Chen hastily rushed over to the old man's side and said some bootlicking words, looking as if he was one family with him. He was confident the old man was the one with absolute authority in the heaven-splitting battle sect going with him was definitely the way of the king. Long Chen, you little bastard, you dare to con me. The head boss roared and reached toward him. He knew the seven of them had been conned. Chapter 1248 Domineering Men Translator Born to be with the head boss's hand reaching toward him, Long Chen snickered mischievously and hid behind the old man. As expected, his gift of filial respect hadn't been for nothing. The old man waved his cane, blowing away the head boss. Due to your own lack of ability, you take your anger out on a child? 
Can you feel the slightest bit of shame? Snorted the old man. Good brat, you have some guts to even scheme against us. Just wait, don't land in our hands. Threatened the other bosses. All right, then you can go and I'll just drink alone with the old man. It just so happens that I have a few more fine wines I wanted to use to offer my respects. Long Chen took out several wine jugs, each one of them different. He intentionally opened them slightly to allow their fragrance to wash out. Even ordinary people would begin to salivate upon smelling this wine, let alone the heaven-splitting battle sects people who loved wine. It possessed a fatal attraction for them. Cough. What would be the point of just the two of you drinking by yourselves? Don't worry, we'll accompany you. The head boss's fury instantly vanished in front of this fine wine. If the old man wasn't present, he'd have probably already snatched them away. But he now thickened his skin to stick around. He, just now I was just testing the old man's unrivaled divine power. It's not like losing to the old man is embarrassing. In this world, just how many people are able to challenge him? Comforted Long Chen as he poured the wine. He guessed the seven of them hadn't been beaten like this in a long time, which had caused them to be irritated. For them to have been beaten in front of a junior was truly a bit embarrassing. He hastily gave them a way out of that awkwardness. That made them much more comfortable. But when they received Long Chen's wine, they were now much more cautious. The memory of Tu Kai and Chang's wine was still burned in their minds, and they drank this wine slowly. It was because of Tu Kai and Chang's wine that they had overflowed with a desire to fight, and adding on their desire to beat the old man, they had instantly attacked, which had resulted in a miserable defeat. But these wines Long Chen had brought out were basically unrelated to cultivation, and were only used for the taste. It made them all exclaim in admiration. Fortunately, the bosses knew that the wine god palace's wine was exceptionally precious and couldn't be consumed willy-nilly. They all drank it slowly, savouring it. After a few jugs of wine had entered their bellies, they had all relaxed and forgotten about their previous depression. Their mood continued to rise. Long Chen, you're not bad. I look favorably upon you, praised the head boss, patting him on the shoulder. Long Chen was speechless. Why did this sound so off? He laughed and poured more wine for him, saying, Head boss, I suppose you stand at the top of the seven bosses but of course, my title of head boss was won through my own fists. For 300 years, no one has been able to shake my position, he bragged. The second boss snorted but didn't say anything. It was immediately clear to Long Chen that the ranking of the seven bosses wasn't based on seniority, but based on whose fist was stronger. Then head boss. With your qualifications, you must be the strongest other than the old man. But why do I always hear people cursing you? Asked Long Chen. Cursing me? Tell me who. I'll smash their heads. But as he said this, he looked questioningly at the old man, clearly lacking confidence. What are you looking at me for? When do I ever curse you? Isn't beating you much more satisfying? Snorted the old man, hearing that it wasn't the old man. The head boss was at ease and his confidence inflated. He asked Long Chen who was cursing him behind his back. Long Chen answered, There are too many of them to count. Many people say something along the lines of fuck your daddy. Damn your daddy. Screw your daddy. Little bastard. You want to be beaten. The head boss immediately raised his fist. Long Chen, who had long since been prepared, slithered his way to the old man's side. As a result, the old man knocked the head boss's fist back with a palm. The old man chided. What are you quibbling with a child for? Joking with you expresses how close he feels with you. How can you be so blind? What the fuck? The head boss almost couldn't breathe. The old man was being a bit too protective of this brat. Wasn't he? What if he got used to that? Head boss. Please don't get angry. I'm telling the truth. Right. Said Long Chen. The head boss thought about it and nodded. It was true that people often cursed like this. His name was truly a bit off. But this title of his had been something he had fought hard for. He couldn't just toss it away. Fine. Then don't call me head boss in the future. You can call me boss bow. He. Boss bow. That sounds very mighty too. Laughed boss bow. The other bosses were indifferent to this and simply enjoyed their wine. To them. Changing their title was of no importance. It was simply there for a convenient ranking. 
they didn't mind. As they were drinking, the old man suddenly snorted. The boss's expressions also sank. The old man said, there are seven life star experts who've come. Who wants them? Long Chen was dumbfounded. What was going on? Old fourth and old sixth. You two go. It's been a long time since you've gotten any exercise, said Boss Bao. The fourth boss and sixth boss nodded. Finishing off their wine, they got up and left. Long Chen looked at them like an idiot. Boss Bao explained. Seven of the ancient race's idiots have come into the territory of my heaven-splitting battle sect ignoring the warnings. They barged their way to our gate. The ancient races? Are they coming for me? Fuck. These cowardly bullies. They don't dare to cause trouble for the wine god palace. So they have to set their sights on me. Snorted Long Chen hatefully. For them to send out seven life star experts at once. They were clearly trying to force the heaven-splitting battle sect to hand him over. Long Chen's original intent in coming to the heaven-splitting battle sect was to repay their kindness. Back then. Feng Zingli had gone to the eastern wasteland to support and pass on split the heavens to him, which had allowed him to escape countless life and death encounters. He had even detonated an ancestral item to escape the ancient race's entanglement. He hadn't thought they would be so obstinate as to chase him all the way to the heaven-splitting battle sect and yet, how had they known that he would come to the heaven-splitting battle sect? He hadn't told anyone where he had been going. Xuan Jizi. It definitely had to have been done by Xuan Jizi. Long Chen suddenly realized that this entire matter definitely had Xuan Jizi's shadow behind it. According to the news that the Grand Xia had received, once that Xia Chen had annihilated the Grand Han's royal family, two life star experts had failed to hunt him down. And yet, the Heavenly Fate Pavilion within the Grand Han hadn't even made a noise, as if none of that had anything to do with them. But the fact that the ancient races had actually followed him here allowed Long Chen to see Xuan Jizi's shadow. Killing intent raged in his eyes. Until that bastard died, he probably wouldn't have any peaceful days. Long Chen didn't like bringing his trouble to others. But in the end, that trouble had still been brought to the heaven-splitting battle sect. Infuriating him. Child, remember, this is your home. Don't form any useless thoughts, or you'll be beaten said the seventh boss, looking not worried at all. Old seventh is correct. You are now a disciple of the heaven-splitting battle sect no matter how big the trouble you cause. We will help you bear it. Boss Bao nodded. Boom. The land quivered as a muffled explosive sound came from the distance. Long Chen could almost sense that terrifying pressure, but it was too far for him to see anything. All he could be sure of was that both sides had started fighting. Suddenly. Two figures reappeared at the peak of the mountain. They were the fourth boss and sixth boss. They now had some blood stains on them, and although they had reserved their auras, they were still unleashing boundless killing intent. What shocked Long Chen the most was that the fourth boss was carrying two heads, while the sixth boss was also holding a head. The three heads all contained the specific markings of the ancient races. From the pressure coming from them, they were clearly the heads of life star experts. Old sixth, you've gotten rusty. The fourth boss tossed the two heads to the side as if they were nothing and then poured himself a bowl of wine. The sixth boss also tossed the head in his hand aside. He grumbled, it's the ancient races that are too cowardly. Otherwise, I'd have also gotten two heads. But when the sixth boss sat, Long Chen saw a bloody injury to his chest that looked like he had been clawed. That injury contained a destructive energy that made it so he couldn't heal it. Long Chen was shocked. These two had killed three of the seven life star experts of the ancient races in just a few breaths time. That was too terrifying, wasn't it? Now Long Chen realized why Feng Zingli said that the heaven-splitting battle sect's experts were true masters compared to the outside world's experts. Fighting across realms was easy for them. Of those seven idiots, three and a half ran off, said the fourth boss to the old man. The half he was referring to was how one of them only had half his life. It was difficult to say if he would live, but even if he did, he would be half crippled. Old man, have I brought trouble for the heaven-splitting battle sect? Asked Long Chen. Wouldn't slaughtering the ancient races like this anger the ancient race alliance? The ancient race alliance was comprised of tens of thousands of races. Their total power was terrifying, and not something a single sect could resist. 
No one wanted to provoke them. Trouble? My heaven-splitting battle sect isn't afraid of that. The old man smiled. Seeing how dumbfounded Long Chen was, he continued. You might not believe me, but those ancient race experts wouldn't even dare to let out a fart because of this. What now Long Chen was completely shocked. Boss Bao chortled. Long Chen, do you know why we have such confidence? This term for head bosses, which is often used as a curse word, and literally the head boss says I, insert curse word, look favorably upon you. Naturally, that sounds off. Here Long Chen is using the curses that have head boss in them. Chapter 1249 Guidance to the Right Path Translator Born to be this was truly a question Long Chen had been wondering about. It seemed that amongst the three great sects of the heavens, it was the heaven-splitting battle sect that had declined the most. But they still seemed so confident. Suddenly, a flash of comprehension appeared in Long Chen's mind. He exclaimed, A person with nothing isn't afraid of people with something to lose. Ha ha ha. The old man and the bosses laughed. Pleased. Good guess. Praised the old man. Boss Bao said, Previously, when my heaven-splitting battle sect was in its golden age, we also didn't fear anyone. And now, we don't have anything to worry about. What Boss Bao meant was that the heaven-splitting battle sect had been a dominating power back in its golden age. Now that it had declined, many sects thought of them as a group of half-dead madmen. It was the kind of sect that was most dangerous, because they had already declined. There were few things that could intimidate them. In the eyes of others, the heaven-splitting battle sect had declined to the brink and was like a magical beast on the verge of death. It was very likely that right before it died, it would bring down the few people around it in its death throes. That was why no one wanted to provoke the heaven-splitting battle sect. But we killed so many of them. Will there really be no problem? Asked Long Chen. Those were three life star experts, not three chickens. This was a huge humiliation to the ancient races. If the ancient race alliance was infuriated and all their races were mobilized, then let alone a single heaven-splitting battle sect, even ten heaven-splitting battle sects would be annihilated instantly. Child, even a broken boat has a few nails to attack with, and our heaven-splitting battle sect doesn't have just a few. Back when the three great sects of the heavens were in their golden age, the ancient races were nothing more than a pack of dogs. But now the world has changed and the three sects have declined. Although the heaven-suppressing magic sect managed to maintain their complete inheritance, there is no way for them to compare to their golden age. The Zhuanshan Dao sect's Zhuanshan catalog's interpretation was destroyed, making it so no one can see through its profundities, essentially half crippling the Zhuanshan Dao sect but fortunately, they have the Zhuanshan Tower and the Reincarnation Mirror. Two powerful divine items to maintain their karmic luck, making it so others don't dare to humiliate them. That Li Xiangxuan's a man with some guts and schemes. He has courage, and his last few plays have been very good. But in the end, he has been influenced by his master too much, and he still has too many misjivings. He doesn't truly dare to go all out. To tell the truth, I look down upon how cautious the Zhuanshan Dao sect acts. If a person lives like they're overlooking an abyss, like they're treading on thin ice, what is the point of them cultivating? If a person is afraid of death, they should just find a turtle cave and hide forever, said the old man a bit disdainfully. He didn't have a high opinion of the Zhuanshan Dao sect's conduct. Child, you're also starting to be influenced by Li Xiangxuan. You like to account for everything, to make a perfect plot with no holes. On one hand, that isn't a fault. It's one of the essential requirements for someone in power. But you are different. You are not a ruler. You are a cultivator. Yes, intelligence can resolve problems. But then remember, why do battles even start? It's because intelligence cannot resolve all problems. And then you have to fight. If you form a dependence on your intelligence, if you start being very cautious, if you start avoiding trouble, then your drive will unconsciously whittle away. At that time, you will no longer be a true cultivator. You might be able to solve some problems with intelligence. But you have to remember, this is the cultivation world. In front of absolute power, intelligence won't save you. That's why my heaven-splitting battle sect's disciples are not taught to make any schemes. 
The outside world considers my disciples idiots with muscles for brains, but in truth, thousands of years ago, my heaven-splitting battle sect was in its own league within the central plains. Even now, although we have declined, look, does anyone dare to bully us like they bully the Zhuangshan Dao sect? As men, whether your glory blinds the world or you decline to the point that you have nothing, you have to stand with your spine straight. If anyone dares to bully you, you fight them to death. We can die while standing, but we cannot kneel to live. In the end, we have to remember that we cultivate to live with dignity. The old man looked at Long Chen profoundly. That was because this time, Long Chen had used his intelligence to escape from the Grand Xia and come here. In the face of a death trap, he had used various plots to survive. But the old man didn't look favorably upon that. This intelligence would become a stumbling block for Long Chen's cultivation path in the future. A dependence on intelligence would cause a lack of trust in his own power. That was something fatal to an expert. Long Chen's heart shook and he began to sweat. As expected, the old man's vision was sharp. He had even seen this possible problem with just a glance. Long Chen had truly been affected by Li Xiangxuan. Li Xiangxuan's plotting had completely shaken Long Chen during the Battle of the Eastern Sea. A single person's plot could reap harvests hundreds of years into the future. That kind of ability to win victory without even being present was something he greatly admired. He had unconsciously been influenced by that and also started doing the same thing. He hadn't even realized it himself. But with the old man's warning, he felt a burst of fear. He had once more deviated from the nine-star hegemon body arts intent without realizing it. He needed that resolution to split mountains when he encountered mountains. To cut apart rivers when he encountered rivers. It was already starting to cause a problem. By thinking of how to avoid things while saving the most energy instead of directly blasting his way through them, he had lost his original heart. I understand. Long Chen nodded. When he said this, the seven bosses all looked at each other with shock. When Long Chen said this, his air subtly changed. His eyes became sharper, and he seemed like a sharp blade. All of them were powerful experts, and they all sensed this subtle change in his air. They felt the change in his heart. Now it was like a blade, which had been abandoned in its scabbard, had decided not to hide its sharpness and release its light. In just this instant, Long Chen completed an inconceivable transformation. For his heart to follow his will so easily, it was a clear sign that his Dao heart had reached a crystal clear realm. Little fellow, you're quite the rare sapling. Boss Bao patted Long Chen on the shoulder with praise. Head boss over praises me said Long Chen humbly. Don't worry, I will definitely look after you, making you into a towering tree capable of blocking the wind and rain. Not only will I help you, but even the other bosses will help you. It's only natural to repay you for your filial gift of this wine, laughed Boss Bao. The other bosses also laughed and looked at Long Chen, their gazes fiery, making Long Chen's hair stand on end. He felt that these fellows were harboring some evil thoughts. Don't be afraid. We won't be too hard on you. We'll just break your bones and muscles. Once you're used to it, you'll be fine. The second boss patted Long Chen on the shoulder as well. The power in that padding made Long Chen's bones creak. Long Chen instantly realized that these old fellows were about to put him in his place. No wonder the old man had said that even if he bribed them, they would still beat him. Long Chen looked at the old man with a pleading look, but the old man shook his head. It's useless to look at me. This is the inheritance of the heaven-splitting battle sect. They also went through the same thing back then. However, if you have the power, you can put them in their place instead. If you don't have that ability, just accept your fate. Put experts who could kill life star experts in their place? That joke was a bit too crazy. Wasn't this like a tiger beating a dog? And looking at the seven bosses who were looking at him like hungry wolves eyeing a sheep. Long Chen's scalp turned numb. He was just about to say that this was too unfair, when he suddenly recalled that he definitely couldn't say such a thing within the heaven-splitting battle sect whoever's fist was stronger was the boss. Well then, it's Long Chen's first time, so go easy on him. Take turns. You can go so I can properly cultivate the old man shoot them off while holding the high priest's wine with a pleased expression. The seven bosses brought Long Chen to an underground training room. 
This was a huge training room with countless runes revolving around its walls. The ground was inlaid with blood-red bricks. These bricks were originally blue, but after countless years, the blood of countless disciples turned them red. Each disciple will leave behind their own color on this floor. Come Long Chen, I look favorably upon you. Ha ha ha, laughed Boss Bao evilly. All right, during the next seven days, we will help you solidify your gains from the Heaven Earth Divine Pool. The first day is the head bosses. Each of us will look after you during the next few days. So properly cherish this opportunity, laughed the seventh bosses he left with the other bosses. In an instant, the only ones left were Long Chen and the giant Boss Bao. Boss Bao was looking at Long Chen, with his arms that were even thicker than a normal person's legs. He looked like a beast staring at his prey. Go ahead and don't hesitate. No one ever escapes this misfortune. Back when I was here, I was also beaten. Regretfully, those old bastards that beat me are no longer present. A flash of pain appeared in Boss Bao's eyes, but it was quickly covered up by his powerful, rising aura. Come, fight like a man. Just standing there, his voice shook the space around him. His huge body was like a devil king's body, giving off incredible pressure. Fuck. I'm going all out. Long Chen clenched his teeth and summoned his divine ring. Stars appeared in his eyes, and scales appeared on his body. He charged at Boss Bao. Long Chen's fist smashed toward Boss Bao's face. That power caused space to quiver. But what stupefied Long Chen was that Boss Bao didn't even move. He simply allowed Long Chen's fist to smash into his face. He didn't even frown. Long Chen's face turned green. What kind of monster was this? His full power punch could shatter a mountain, but it was unable to cause any harm to Boss Bao? Is this all you have? Did you absorb that much of the Divine Pool's water for nothing? Let me help you stimulate your hidden potential. Boss Bao suddenly roared and a terrifying chi wave exploded. Long Chen didn't even have the power to block it, and he smashed into the wall, vomiting a mouthful of blood. He finally left behind his own contribution on the red floor beneath him. Chapter 1250 Fighting for Justice Beating Bao Buping Translator Born to be Long Chen was sitting in the heaven-splitting battle sects plaza. The early sun's warm rays illuminated his bruised and swelling face. This was his first time feeling that the sunlight could be so warm. His first time feeling that even breathing was such a blessed thing. His first time feeling just how fortunate he was just to be living. In the past seven days, he had experienced what others called hell on earth. Seven devil gods had been passionately torturing him. Even with his willpower, he almost went insane. Each hour, even each breath, had felt so long. During his intense fight with them no. It should be called during his intense beating. Although Long Chen had given it his all, he hadn't been able to cause them any real injuries and relying on their cultivation basis, they didn't feel any shame or have any misgivings about beating him. These seven days had made him almost start doubting what he was doing with his life. They had really been shameless, and no matter how many times he had provoked them, they wouldn't fall for it, refusing to fight him with a foundation forging cultivation base. As he was beaten almost to death, he had tried to think of anything that could save him but nothing had managed to stop him from being beaten into a dead dog. Perhaps this was just what the old man had meant when he said intelligence was useless in front of absolute power. In fact, Long Chen suspected this was a deliberate lesson arranged by the old man. But after seven days of hellish torture, he clearly sensed that his physical body had grown stronger once more. The pure energy he had absorbed from the heaven-earth divine pool seemed like it had been fermenting in his body and this beating had stimulated it. It was like a sleeping beast had woken and started to bear its fangs. Their cruel beating was like the sharpening of a treasured blade. Long Chen's aura had steadied, and shockingly he was able to get a few blows of his own back on them. But after those blows, he always had to pay a terrifying price. What Long Chen didn't know was that although the seven bosses had acted indifferent and natural, they had been incomparably shocked inside. They had been constantly stimulating his potential, making his combat power rise without him even being able to sense it. That innate domineering pressure of his caused even them to feel intimidated. This kind of domineering will had nothing to do with cultivation base. It was a belief in himself, a belief that he could not be defeated. 
a belief forged through winning countless victories against impossible odds. Right now, he was facing seven terrifying experts, and he didn't have the slightest hope of victory, but his Dao heart didn't break, it didn't even quiver. It was precisely due to his firm Dao heart that Long Chen suffered more than other disciples. When the other disciples' Dao hearts received an impact, the bosses would give them time to breathe and adjust themselves. But Long Chen's Dao heart was so firm that no matter how they beat him, he would still fight on. Sometimes, when they were too careless, he would make them suffer a bit too. Others would usually be taken care of for less than a day and then get a few days rests. But Long Chen had continued with his torment for seven consecutive days. After seven days of beatings, he was covered in injuries. But by the seventh day, his fighting style had become stronger and more courageous. With his battle intent also growing, he was practically a monster. Long Chen was also like a devil that had killed his way out of hell to step into the mortal world just like the bosses now. His gaze was so sharp that others didn't dare to look directly at him. His aura continued to surge right at his fingertips, ready to explode at any moment. That was the instinctual reaction the seven bosses had beaten into him. After seven days of training, Long Chen had fully adapted to his new cultivation base and power. Compared to when he first arrived at the heaven-splitting battle sect, he was like a completely different person. Despite his bruised face, no one laughed at him. In fact, there were quite a few people who consoled him. Every single person here had gone through the same hellish beating, but they weren't beaten as much as him. Most of them were only beaten for half a day. Even people like Chang Hao were only able to endure the training for a day before needing to take a break. Just thinking of what it was like to be beaten by those ruthless figures, they shivered and felt that Long Chen was a prodigy just for surviving. Long Chen was currently resting. Ultimately, after seven straight days of having his nerves stretched as tight as possible without any break, he had reached his limit. While resting, he also had a chance to make friends amongst these fellows without the slightest schemes in their hearts. The disciples' attitudes were very simple. Since they had acknowledged him, they treated him like family. Once he became friends with them, he found that they were truly pure and simple. Other than fighting, the only thing in their heads was cultivation. Their thoughts were very simple, and they could decide everything with their fists. Long Chen, let's go. I'll go fight for justice for you, called out one of the rank 7 celestials as he passed by. It's okay, let me just take a break. Long Chen shook his head, somewhat speechless. These fellows truly liked to fight. Whether they were eating or sleeping, one word and they would start fighting. In fact, sometimes when two people were in the midst of squatting and pooping, they might start fighting with their upper bodies. That didn't impact the natural movements down below. The heaven-splitting battle sect's cultivation technique was extremely special. Even these cultivators pooped within the sect just like ordinary mortals. They didn't eat medicinal pills. They didn't sit in meditation. They did not fast. Actually, they ate a lot, mostly eating the flesh of high-ranking magical beasts. They walked an alternative cultivation path. Long Chen still hadn't gotten completely used to this new tempo. He had no interest in their fight for justice. He guessed it was just another game of fighting. Let's go. Let's go fight for justice. Another person called out to Long Chen, using the same phrase. Long Chen declined again, but then curiously, over ten people walked past, calling out to Long Chen, let's go fight for justice. What was going on? Just as he was wondering whether he should go with them to take a look, another person walked by. He was an extremely tall and square-faced man. Brother, let's go have some fun. Long Chen was startled, and he asked, Why aren't you going to fight for justice like everyone else? The square-faced man curiously asked, I am Bao Buping. Have you ever met anyone who would fight themselves? Long Chen almost fell off his rock. When they said they wanted to go fight for justice, they just wanted to beat you. Don't listen to their bragging. They're the ones who are about to get beaten, said Bao Buping. Only now did Long Chen notice that Bao Buping was a rank 8 celestial, and his aura was maybe even stronger than Chang Hao's. Intrigued, Long Chen went with him. He knew that there was a valley in this direction, a beautiful place for fighting. The rocks were red there too, 
but they weren't as bright and garish as the bricks in the training room where he had just endured his hellish torment. This was why the heaven-splitting battle sect's disciples had to eat so much meat. It was to make up for all their lost blood. When you arrived, I was in seclusion. As soon as I came out, I heard you were being taken care of by those seven old ghosts. Brother, it's been hard on you, said Bao Buping sympathetically. Long Chen bitterly smiled. It seemed each one of these disciples had said the same thing upon seeing him. Those seven ghosts are all evil. That one from my family is especially vicious. I don't even know how many times I've been beaten by him. But once I achieve my Tao, I'll definitely return all the beatings he owes me. Bao Buping clenched his teeth. He had clearly also gone through an extremely miserable experience. Your family? Are you talking about Boss Bao? asked Long Chen, suddenly recalling that they had the same surnames. Who else? said Bao Buping hatefully. Long Chen was speechless. It seemed Boss Bao treated his own family's children even more ruthlessly. But then thinking about it, of course he was ruthless. People who weren't ruthless were unable to reach such heights. Experts were all ruthless people, ruthless with others and ruthless with themselves. In the heaven-splitting battle sect, only Chang Hao and I are rank 8 celestials. We each have to receive the other disciples' challenges, so we switch off every month. Last month, it was up to Chang Hao to receive their challenges, and this month it's my turn. It's going to be a bitter battle, but I won't let them have it too easy, said Bao Buping. The two of them arrived at the valley. This valley was covered in rocks that were dyed red. That was the color of blood. The blood of experts was an excellent dye that wouldn't fade for a long time. It was a mark of what had passed. When Long Chen saw these red rocks, he had a sense of deja vu. It reminded him of the marks he had left behind in the training room. The two of them had only just arrived when the many disciples that had gathered immediately roared. Brothers, charge. Beat Bao Buping. Thousands of elite disciples charged over in an instant. HMPH. I'll beat you all today. Bao Buping shot forward as well, charging at them. Bang Aya Fuck. The sound of fists striking flesh rang out along with miserable screams and curses. The entire scene became chaotic. What shocked Long Chen was that Bao Buping was truly powerful. Those rank 7 celestials were all knocked away by a single punch, and rank 6 celestials were knocked back in waves. And yet, there were too many of them, and they were competing only with physical bodies. This was a barbaric battle with no technique. Very quickly, Bao Buping was submerged by the crowd. In just a bit, Long Chen saw Bao Buping leave his own mark here. Hey, wait a moment. I only came to watch. Long Chen suddenly cried out when he saw some people look at him. Brother, help. There's another one over here. Ah, one of the rank six celestials had only just started shouting when Long Chen knocked him out with a punch but he had still managed to attract quite a bit of attention. Long Chen's fist had established enmity, because there were too many people, many of them were unable to reach Bao Buping. After failing to reach him several times, they saw Long Chen and charged over, one, the title, and what these people keep calling out to Long Chen, is which is an expression meaning to fight for justice. The last three characters are Bao Buping, and here, that is that person's name which turns the expression into fight beat Bao Buping. So means both fight for justice and beat Bao Buping. Chapter 1251 The Pain of Genius's Translator Born to be fuck. You really think I'm easy to beat? Seeing a rank 7 celestial charging at him, Long Chen slapped him down to the ground, causing him to vomit blood and faint. There were dozens of experts charging at him as well. With a single punch from Long Chen, they toppled back just from the wind. This was not a battle skill, but brute power. One punch blew back the majority, and after three punches, there was no one remaining around him. Ah, I feel like we came here to beat Bao Buping and should focus on that. One of the fellows gave himself a way out, turning and running back to Bao Buping. Others looked at the poor people Long Chen had knocked unconscious and decided to go for Bao Buping as well. For the moment, no one dared to go after Long Chen. He was too ruthless when they compared him to Bao Buping. Long Chen was also startled. The past few days, he had been beaten badly by the seven bosses and hadn't sensed how much his power had grown. He had naturally brought out his battle state from that time. 
and now he immediately saw the difference. That beating wasn't for nothing. My own physical body has surpassed my expectations. Long Chen looked at his own palm in amazement. The wind from a single punch was comparable to a magical art. His power had reached a terrifying level. Long Chen calmly watched. After two hours, the battle ended with everyone collapsed but Bao Buping. He was standing there with his head raised and laughing. But at this time, Bao Buping's robes were torn, and his face was bruised and swollen. There was quite a bit of blood on him, making him appear battered. It could be called a painful victory. According to his experience in the past few days, those scars would stay on Bao Buping's body for at least three days. So when a person first entered the heaven-splitting battle sect, it was not at all rare to see people with their faces black and blue. In fact, that was simply normal. Seeing people completely fine was the rare thing. As a celebration for Bao Buping's victory, Long Chen took out two jugs of fine wine, drinking with Chang Hao as well. Previously, the two of them worked in shifts, and every ten days, one of them would be challenged by all the disciples. This kind of intense battle was a tradition in the heaven-splitting battle sect but when Long Chen and Bao Buping found Chang Hao, Long Chen jumped in shock. Chang Hao was covered in blood, many of his bones broken. He was lying and wailing in pain on a stone bed. What? Who did this? cried Long Chen. You don't need to ask. Other than those old ghosts, who would be so heavy-handed Bao Buping was used to such a sight and he reached out to help Chang Ha reconnect his bones with his spiritual Yuan. TCHB, gentle, Chang Ha clenched his teeth. Long Chen had medicinal pills for him, but he didn't give him any. The heaven-splitting battle sect's disciples cultivated the battle god sacred canon. Injuries that came from people with the same cultivation technique were a kind of catalyst. When their seniors beat them, the main reason was to help them grow. Although this kind of growing process made others speechless, Long Chen was sure that each one of the heaven-splitting battle sect's disciples was not just one level stronger than the outside world's so-called elites. Although two people could be rank 5 celestials, the heaven-splitting battle sect's rank 5 celestials would easily kill other rank 5 celestials from other sects in the same realm. This was the power of the battle god sacred canon, whether it was the injuries themselves or the pain. They were good for stimulating their potential. If Long Chen gave Chang Hao a medicinal pill to reduce the pain, this beating would have been for nothing. Only after two hours of resting could Chang Hao manage to sit up. Curses poured out of his mouth. Only then did Long Chen learn that the one who had beaten him was the fourth boss. Long Chen, this wine is amazing. Chang Hao and Bao Buping exclaimed in delight. Chang Hao instantly forgot about his previous gloom. The majority of what Long Chen gave them to drink was wine from the first time he and Xia Yaoluo had gone swindling in the wine god palace. It wasn't that beneficial to one's cultivation, so Long Chen could bring it out to drink randomly. As for the new medicinal wines they had refined, Long Chen was leaving them for the Dragonblood Legion. They couldn't be wasted like this. But despite that, wine from the wine god palace was incredibly rare and Chang Hao and Bao Buping felt like they were about to start floating. Long Chen, you should just stay here instead of going back to the Zhuanshan Dao sect wouldn't staying here with your brothers be a hundred times better than going out and dealing with the stupid scheming in the outside world, proposed Bao Buping. Right, you should stay. The three of us can work hard on cultivating, and then we'll quickly defeat those old ghosts. At that time, we can work together to knock them off their pedestals said Chang Hao. Long Chen was speechless. This grand aspiration of theirs would probably be difficult to achieve, but his heart warmed from their sincerity. Although the old man and the seven bosses hadn't said a word about the heaven-earth divine pool, Long Chen wasn't a fool. With just a few words from Chang Hao and Bao Buping, who were straightforward men without such thoughts in their heads, Long Chen managed to learn the truth of the heaven-earth divine pool, making him feel ashamed. With the heaven-earth divine pool completely used up, the heaven-splitting battle sect's inheritance would stop here. For him, the heaven-splitting battle sect had used up their final divine springs. This kind of kindness was far too great, so great that there was no way for him to repay it. Furthermore, he knew he had to act like he had no idea about this matter, because the old man and the bosses treated him as family, and they wouldn't want any repayment. Through the two of them, 
Long Chen learned that the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect had only one divine item, the Heaven Splitting Blade. This Heaven Splitting Blade was sealed at the peak of the mountain the old man lived on. Right now, the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect was relying on the Heaven Splitting Blade to maintain its karmic lock. It was the only thing the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect could rely on, but they were unable to use the Heaven Splitting Blade, because it was connected with the Heaven Earth Divine Pool. If they used the Heaven Splitting Blade right now, the Heaven Earth Divine Pool would be crippled. In the ancient era, the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect was able to use the Heaven Splitting Blade to absorb energy from the very air, replenishing the Heaven Earth Divine Pool. But later, after an immense tribulation, the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect had lost the last three forms of Split the Heavens, and any experts capable of using the nine forms of Split the Heavens had fallen in a tribulation. Without the full nine forms of Split the Heavens, it was impossible to activate the Heaven Splitting Blade's power to absorb energy from Heaven and Earth and replenish their Divine Spring. If a crisis occurred and the sect had to use the Heaven Splitting Blade, the seal on it would crumble, and then in the future, even if the full nine forms of Split the Heavens were found, there would be no way to replenish the Divine Spring. That was why the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect was currently at the end of the line. But the old man and the seven bosses didn't let this matter suppress them. They continued living and eating as they had been, seeming to not care about the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect's life and death. This kind of attitude of daring to stand up even if the heavens collapsed was admirable. But in the end, Long Chen continued to feel apologetic about this. He wasn't the kind of person who liked owing favors. But he was currently too weak to repay this favor. He could only wait until later. Come. Let's toast to today's victory. Bao Buping raised his bowl of wine and touched it to theirs. After a few bowls of wine had gone down his throat, Chang Hao asked, Long Chen, do you know what my favorite color is? No. Long Chen shook his head. My favorite color is red. Because when my family's boss beats me, all I see is blood. Only once I see enough blood will he stop. Chang Hao bitterly smiled. Although that was a bit exaggerated. Long Chen knew what he was talking about. The Heaven Splitting Battle Sect's bosses were truly ruthless, but they also had their sorrows. Then do you know what my lucky color is? Asked Bao Buping. What? Yellow. Why? Because when that fellow beats me, he won't stop until he beats the piss out of me. Ha ha ha. Laughed Bao Buping. Long Chen. What's your favorite color? Both of them asked. Long Chen smiled. According to what you've described. My favorite color would be black, because those seven bosses won't stop until all I see is black. The three of them looked at each other and laughed. They were the ones who were beaten the worst by the bosses and were all sympathetic to each other. Fuck, it's too unfair. They used their higher cultivation bases to beat us. If we were in the same realm, we'd definitely defeat them. Bao Buping clenched his teeth. Fortunately, only the three of them were present. If the bosses heard them cry about something being unfair, they definitely have to be beaten. After drinking this wine, Long Chen had to admit that the old man was right. The Heaven Splitting Battle Sect's children were all beaten to the point that their skin became extremely tough. Just now, Chang Hao had been on the brink of death, but after drinking a few bowls of wine, he had fully revived. The three of them became boisterous starting to play finger-guessing games and enjoying their drinking as much as possible. But Long Chen had only just taken out some more wine when a figure charged in and snatched away all the wine. Boss Bao Long Chen jumped. The newcomer was precisely the head of the seven bosses. Boss Bao's expression was furious. He knocked over Bao Buping with a palm, and taking off his shoe, he began spanking him hard with it. You little brat, you're getting more and more brazen. I told you to come over when your shift was over, and you made me wait six hours? You gave me the cold shoulder to drink wine. Boss Ba repeatedly smacked Bao Buping's butt with his shoe, causing him to wail. Didn't I just forget? You shameless thing. If you want to beat me, then beat me. How dare you steal our wine? Bao Buping might be a rank 8 celestial, but he was like a caught chicken in Boss Bao's hands, unable to even move. But as a man, in the face of his family's boss, even if he couldn't beat him, he could curse him. Brat, you dare talk back. Today, I'll beat you until you understand why roses are red. Bao Buping began to rain down harder blows. Boss Bao, 
this. Long Chen couldn't bear watching. This was too shameless. Not only did he steal a child's wine, but he also didn't let that child speak. Oh, Long Chen, you want to say something? If you dare to ask for leniency, I'll beat you with him, raged Boss Bao, daring him to try it. Chapter 1252 Pot to the Head Translator Born to be ah, you misunderstand. I just meant that you've already beaten Bao Buping's butt to the point that it's numb. You should flip him over before continuing Long Chen nodded with a smile. Then toward Bao Buping, he apologetically said, Sorry brother, I can only help you out so much. Long Chen, you fucker, raged Bao Buping. But he quickly realized that Long Chen was making a strange gesture to him with one hand. And then he fell silent, at an angle from which Boss Bao couldn't see anything. While Long Chen respectfully bowed to Boss Bao, he also made a gesture to Chang Hao with his other hand. Seeing that, Chang Hao immediately understood, clenching his teeth. Just as Boss Bao was about to continue beating Bao Buping, he suddenly took out his broadsword and slashed it at Boss Bao. Little brat, you dare. Boss Bao laughed in anger. He sent a single palm at Chang Hao's broadsword. The three of them were all familiar with the power of this palm. If struck, it was unknown just how far Chang Hao would fly. But just as Boss Bao attacked, a fierce and cold sob air chi suddenly slashed out. Split the heavens for, you bastard. So it was you all along. Boss Bao's heart shook. Long Chen's attack was coming too quickly. His cast time for this move was extremely short. And it was slashing at him at the same time as Chang Hao's broadsword. Boss Bao found it inconceivable that Long Chen could use the fourth form of split the heavens so quickly. Even so. You can't flip the heavens yet. Although Boss Bao didn't understand how he was able to do this, Boss Bao laughed and with one hand holding Bao Buping, the palm he was sending toward Chang Hao now turned toward Long Chen's saber image. He knew just how powerful this move was. Two bangs rang out. The first one to land was Chang Hao's broadsword. When it landed on Boss Bao's shoulder, he didn't even flinch. But Chang Hao was blown back. The second bang came from when Boss Bao shattered Long Chen's Saber Chi, but he quickly found that something was off. This slash had contained the air of the fourth form of Split the Heavens, but it didn't contain any of its power. By the time he reacted, Long Chen's foot had viciously kicked toward his butt. Brat, looks like you need a spanking. Boss Bao was infuriated. Within the entire Heaven Splitting Battle sect, the only one who dared to kick his butt would be the old man. If he allowed this to land, he'd have to find a piece of tofu to smother himself to death out of embarrassment. Suddenly, he twisted his body. He was about to dodge, but Bao Buping, who was still caught in his grasp, suddenly clamped onto his legs. Boss Bao was infuriated. If Bao Buping were his enemy, he'd easily let his aura ear up and kill him. But Bao Buping was his descendant, and there was no way he could kill him. That was the only reason Bao Buping dared to use such a shameless move. Long Chen's kick was just about to land. Helplessly, Boss Bao could only twist to the side to dodge. The twisting action also blew away Bao Buping. Boss Bao ended up rolling along the ground. To someone with his status, that could already count as losing. He couldn't help but smile. Pleased. Today, these three brats had struck up the courage to flip the heavens. Attack together. Cut down this shameless bastard. Bao Buping stabilized himself and unleashed his strongest attack at Boss Bao. Bao Buping had already thrown caution to the wind. In any case, there was no way for him to escape a beating. It was better to fight all out. Chang Hao also unleashed his strongest move which he had been brewing for a while. At the same time, Long Chen also took action. Violet flames sprang into existence around him, and holding a flame blade. He charged at Boss Bao. Seeing these three youngsters attack with such fierce power made Boss Bao nod in admiration. Although their cultivation bases were lower, limiting their combat power, this kind of undefeatable will was still incomparably sharp. This was the most important thing for experts. But although he had praise for them, he had no intention of showing mercy. Even toward his own family's child, he wouldn't be the slightest bit soft-hearted. Today. I'll let you see what a true power gap is. Boss Bao unleashed a single fist. When he unleashed his fist, space caved in, causing rays of light to explode. This wasn't a battle skill or magical art. 
It was the result of pushing his physical strength to the point that it could cause space to explode. Boom. The three of them were blown away. This punch had contained the power to split heaven and earth, and was completely unstoppable. Chang Hao and Bao Buping hacked up blood. Boss Bao had brought out his true ability with this fist. That kind of power wasn't something they could withstand. On the other hand, Long Chen didn't react. Surrounded by flames, he shot into the distance. As three people looked at his flying figure, they were suddenly shocked to see him explode. A fake? Crap. Boss Bao was the first to react. He was just about to move when an explosive, clanging sound rang out. Boss Bao could no longer move. He stood there like a statue. Bao Buping and Chang Hao looked at him in disbelief. A black object appeared behind Boss Bao's head. You. Damn. Brat Boss Bao's eyes rolled into the back of his head, and he collapsed on the ground. Only once he was on the ground did Chang Hao and Bao Buping see that the black object behind him had actually been a black pot. The black pot slowly moved aside, revealing Long Chen's pleased expression. His excitement and delight weren't masked at all. After so many days of beatings, he had finally managed to vent. In the end this pot to the head was truly satisfying. From the start, Long Chen had known that the three of them were unable to withstand a single punch from Boss Bao. It was impossible to beat him. So when they had attacked, he had intentionally summoned the flame armor to trick him. When he had attacked, it had actually been Huo Long attacking with flames. While Long Chen slipped behind him, Boss Bao had little experience dealing with a crafty opponent like Long Chen. After all, the people in the heaven-splitting battle sect were all direct men who preferred straight-on clashes. As a result, he ended up with this tragic ending. The legend of an unrivaled hero was destroyed by a single pot. Bao Buping and Chang Hao's eyes almost popped out of their heads. Their jaws could not be lower. It was almost possible to see their stomachs from their mouths. Only after a breath's time did Bao Buping laugh. Nice job Long Chen. Starting today, you can be the boss of us three brothers. Then he ran over to the unconscious boss Bao and kicked him a couple of times to vent. Cursing. You shameless bastard. Who said you could beat me? Who said you could bully me? His first kick landed on boss Bao's arm. That was fine. But the second kick landed on boss Bao's butt precisely where his tailbone was. Long Chen's expression instantly changed. Fuck. Are you trying to kill us? Run. Shouted Long Chen. Dragging them away. Boss Bao's eyes suddenly flew open. Bao Buping's kick ended up kicking him in such a painful spot that he woke up. Fuck. Why does my head hurt so much? Hmm? Wait a moment. You three bastards. Get back here. Boss Bao felt the back of his head for a moment when he suddenly recalled what had happened. With a furious roar, Boss Bao flew into the air, seeing three distant figures fleeing. Who else could they be but Long Chen and the others? You damn brats. Don't even think about escaping Long Chen was dragging the two of them. He had summoned lightning wings and activated his boots. This was as fast as he could go. But Boss Bao's speed was even greater than his. That shocked him. Boss Bao was faster than the Eagle Race's experts. Long Chen, let's stop running. We'll do the same thing again, roared Bao Buping excitedly. Battle intent soaring out of him. We'll knock him out again. If we could do it once, we can do it again. Chang Hao also cried out excitedly. To knock out Boss Bao while still in the Foundation Forging Realm was the most glorious achievement of his life. But that glory had come and gone too quickly for him to properly enjoy it. Now he wanted to relive it. Long Chen was speechless. Did they really think they had won just now through power? The only reason why there had been an opening was because Boss Bao had been careless. If they fought again, Long Chen would bet his life that Boss Bao would slam them into a wall so hard that they would never be able to get out. Knocking him out again? That kind of dream was far too unrealistic. Old man. Someone's trying to bully me. Abusing his official position. Long Chen was flying straight for the old man's room. Long Chen charged to the peak of the mountain. Once he was at the wooden room, he saw the old man drinking wine out of a small cup. His eyes closed as he tried to comprehend the heavenly deos contained within the high priest's wine. Ordinary disciples of the heaven-splitting battle sect didn't need to comprehend the heavenly deos. Only someone who had reached the old man's level would need to in order to advance. That was why the old man refused to share the high priest's wine. 
You little bastards. Just wait for me to beat you to death. Boss Bayo's eyes were scarlet as he chased after the three of them. But before he could even get close, he was sent flying by a black cane. The old man disdainfully said, How can you be so shameless? After being knocked out by three children, you don't feel too embarrassed to get revenge. At this time, the other bosses were also drawn over. Hearing that Boss Bao had been knocked out by three children, they all laughed, causing Boss Bao's fury to soar. Old man, you've really gotten old. So you were even schemed against by a few children, laughed the seventh boss we won through power, retorted Chang Hao, but that just caused more laughter, causing Chang Hao and Bao Buping to also be infuriated. Boss Bao, why don't you take out the wine you snatched from me and share it with the other bosses? Long Chen suddenly changed the subject. Boss Bao could only take out the wine jugs. When Long Chen opened them, he stealthily added a little something to them. The old man suddenly smiled, shaking his head. He didn't say anything. Chapter 1253 Challenging Supreme Experts Translator Born to be the disturbance was easily suppressed by the old man. With the placating of dozens of jugs of wine, the matter was brushed aside. But Boss Ba was still extremely displeased. The other bosses were all teasing him over this. He had truly lost face today. The other six bosses even said that no matter what tricks Long Chen, Bao Buping, or Chang Hao used, they wouldn't fall for it. Long Chen could see that while the bosses weren't very harmonious and liked to fight amongst each other, they were actually very united. Their teasing of Boss Bao was clearly an attempt to bait Long Chen and the others to challenge them. Seeing Bao Buping and Chang Hao's eager expressions, it was clear they had fallen for it. Boss Bao was the leader of the seven bosses. According to their ranking, the seventh boss was the weakest. When the seventh boss said that he would be able to crush the three of them with just a hand, Bao Buping almost immediately agreed to the challenge. He had to be held back by Long Chen. He, let's just calmly drink wine today. As for any challenges, let's discuss it after drinking the wine. Here, let me offer you some more wine. Long Chen laughed mischievously and poured out some more wine. As the bosses drank. The fourth boss irritably said, Long Chen, how can you be so slippery? Old Seventh has already said he'd accept your challenge with just one hand, but you don't dare to accept? Are you even a man? Long Chen was speechless. This kind of provocation was far too low level. If he were to use his full power, was there really any difference between using one or two hands? But Long Chen patted his chest confidently and said, I, Long Chen. I'm also a man who pees standing up. When you say you'll challenge us with one hand, you're looking down on us. I, Long Chen, dominated the lands. Well, for at least a few years, for the three of us to work together to defeat the seventh boss brings us no glory. It's not interesting. Haha, <laughs> exactly. The three of us don't need you to hold back. We can defeat you through pure power. Laughed Bao Buping uproariously. Long Chen's face turned green. Was this Brad an idiot? He even dared to say such a thing? Wasn't he just asking to be beaten? As expected, the seventh boss stood and laughed. Haha, <laughs> that's the style of the men of my heaven splitting battle sect come. Today I'll properly give you some pointers. We'll treat it as learning from each other in front of the old man. No rush, no rush. First, drink. Chang Hao still hasn't fully recovered and can't fight at full strength yet. There's no point in such a fight. It'd be better to first drink. We can fight three days from now, said Long Chen. The boss's expressions were extremely calm, but there was an evil light in their eyes that completely sold out their inner hearts. It seemed even they had a wily old fox side that liked to scheme. The old man faintly smiled. That smile was extremely strange. When Boss Ba raised his wine jug and started pouring wine for him, he declined. Ah, no thank you. I rather like the taste of my wine. You can drink yours. Boss Bao and the others didn't see any clues from this. They just foolishly continued pouring out their wine. Very pleased. They thought Long Chen and the others had been successfully baited into fighting with them. They didn't know that the old man was looking at them sympathetically. Three days later, Long Chen, Bao Buping, and Chang Hao were hiding within a dark corner. They suppressed their breathing as much as possible looking like furtive thieves. They were looking at a small room. Long Chen.
Didn't you say we were challenging the seventh boss? What are we doing here? Asked Bao Buping. This room in front of them was just a bathroom. They were suppressing their breath to avoid the smell. The Heaven Splitting Battle Sect was different from other cultivation sects. It was truly like part of the mortal world. The Heaven Splitting Battle Sect's disciples drank and pooped much more frequently than other cultivators. When I said I wanted to challenge the seventh boss, I didn't just mean him. I meant all seven bosses, said Long Chen. Are you suicidal? exclaimed Chang Hao. As a result, he forgot to hold his breath, and a burst of fragrance surged into his nose. He hastily pinched his nose with his hand. Bao Buping was also shocked by Long Chen's words. That was too crazy. If we're going to do this, we're going to it properly. A small little fight is boring. This time, we're going to catch all of them in our net in order to raise our fame in one go. However they beat us normally is how we're going to beat them. The two of you haven't turned coward, have you? Asked Long Chen. Are you joking? When have we ever been afraid of anyone? The worst case is we get beaten again, and we're used to that already. But Long Chen, are you really sure? Bao Buping wasn't confident in this. This was too crazy for him to have any confidence. Don't worry, everything's been arranged. Oh, shh. Long Chen suddenly made a shushing gesture. A figure suddenly rushed over to that room. That person was precisely the seventh boss. His speed was extremely quick, and he almost seemed panicked. As soon as he entered, they heard freedom ringing. The sound of a surging stream rang out. He got diarrhea Chang Hao and Bao Buping found this inconceivable. With such a powerful cultivation base, even poison wouldn't cause such a thing, right? Just as the two of them were shocked, the other bosses also rushed over to that small room. The last one to charge in was Boss Bao. What the fuck happened? My stomach fucking hurts. Boss Bao's furious cursing rang out from that room. That roar was covered up by the sound of powerful farting and pooping. When the seven of them exploded like this in unison, the sound was able to spread for ten miles. Bao Buping and Chang Hao were dumbfounded. The seven of them had diarrhea at the same time? They suddenly turned to Long Chen and saw an evil smile on his face. Explode boom. Following Long Chen's quiet exclamation, that small room exploded and seven miserable figures were blown out, their bodies covered in filth. They were hastily pulling up their pants. So it was you three brats. Boss Bao's vision was sharp and he instantly saw the three of them hiding in the dark. Bao Buping and Chang Hao turned green. They could practically see the flames of fury coming out of them. Even if they didn't die this time, they probably wouldn't be living happily either. On the other hand, Long Chen was extremely calm. He shouted, We agreed to have a heroic match today. We waited six hours. And now we find you messing around here? Just how old are you? Why is that you haven't matured at all? Could it be that you're afraid of us and don't dare to fight? The seven bosses exploded in fury. They were actually provoked by three little brats like this? They had never encountered such arrogant people before. If I don't beat the piss out of you today, we'll change our surnames to yours. The bosses roared furiously, just about to teach a lesson to these three out of control brats. In truth, after drinking so much last time, they had all fallen unconscious and slept for three days straight. If it hadn't been for the intense pain in their stomachs, they wouldn't have woken. They still didn't know that Long Chen had put something in the wine he had given them. With Long Chen's alchemy arts and the wine god palace's wine energy, he was still able to pull an effective trick on them. Hold. Today. The three of us are challenging the seven of you in front of all the heaven splitting battle sects disciples. With the name of us three brothers, with the hot blood flowing through our chests, we are challenging our superiors as the junior generation disciples of the heaven splitting battle sect. This challenge is sacred, something that cannot be blasphemed. You should tidy yourselves up. The three of us will wait at Op Tempest Dragon Peak, shouted Long Chen. The seven bosses looked at the filth on their bodies, and their fury almost exploded out of control. But staying like this was too embarrassing, and they hastily rushed away to clean up. Tempest Dragon Peak was the highest mountain in the heaven-splitting battle sect other than the one the old man lived in. It was like a furious dragon coiled in its territory, which was where it got its name. Now, Tempest Dragon Peak was packed with people, 
All the heaven-splitting battle sects experts had rushed over. Something big had happened today. The seven bosses had been challenged. And it wasn't just one boss but all seven of them. Most shocking of all, the challengers were three young disciples. Long Chen, no matter how today ends up, this bravery of yours is enough for us to prostrate ourselves toward you. Bao Buping and Chang Hao both looked at Long Chen with admiration. Long Chen's guts were truly big. Something they had never dreamed of daring to do had actually become reality under his lead. Even if they failed today, no one would laugh at them. Instead, they would admire the courage it took to challenge the bosses. After all, not just anyone would dare to do such a suicidal thing. This didn't only require bravery. Most importantly, if their display was brilliant enough, they would become the heroes of the heaven-splitting battle sect's disciples. So no matter what happened, they would definitely end up recorded in the history of the heaven-splitting battle sect even if they were beaten dead. They would still be heroes. Bao Buping and Chang Hao had already been beaten into dogs countless times. They were already used to it, but it was their first time getting beaten as absolute heroes. So they truly prostrated themselves in admiration toward Long Chen. At this time, the three of them stood at Op Tempest Dragon Peak, their auras surging around it. They were like three sharp blades emitting unprecedented light. They were very imposing, looking like three undefeatable gods. The heaven-splitting battle sect's disciples were cheering loudly, their voices full of worship and reverence for these domineering figures who dared to challenge the bosses. The cheering was like a tsunami, coming wave after wave. Fuck, even if we're beaten dead, it'll be worth it. Seeing these disciples cheering so loudly that their faces turned red, Chang Hao's blood began to boil. You three brats, prepare yourselves. If we don't beat you into pancakes today, I'll write my name Boss Bao backward just at this moment. Seven figures rushed over. Boss Bao was at the front, and he immediately sent a punch at Long Chen. Chapter 1254 Suppressed Cultivation Bases Translator Born to be Boss Bao was attacking with appalling power right from the start. He was clearly infuriated and planning on properly giving them a harsh lesson. But what shocked everyone was that when Boss Bao's fist collided with Long Chen's palm, the scene of Long Chen being blown back, his bones broken and vomiting blood never occurred. Long Chen didn't even budge. For a moment, all the heaven-splitting battle sects experts could only watch with their jaws dropped. What the fuck? The seven bosses' power was the greatest within the heaven-splitting battle sect other than the old man. They were able to fight across realms and kill life star experts. Boss Bao clearly hadn't been holding back in his rage. He had been planning on beating Long Chen and the others into flatbread to discipline them. But instead, Long Chen couldn't be budged and his expression was completely calm. That dumbfounded everyone. My spiritual Yuan Aya Boss Bao suddenly sensed that the amount of spiritual Yuan circulating within his body was less than a hundredth of what it was normally. Long Chen's fist suddenly slammed into his nose, causing his blood to spurt out. For Long Chen to break Boss Bao's nose like this elicited shocked gasps from everyone. There had never been any disciple to make Boss Bao bleed, and certainly not a foundation forging disciple. Fucking hell, what's going on? Why is our spiritual Yuan suppressed? Roared the fourth boss. He was the second one to charge in, which resulted in Bao Buping landing a punch to his head. A large bump immediately swelled up. Bao Buping and Chang Hao looked at the bosses, pleasantly surprised. They didn't know what was happening, but they knew that their cultivation bases had been suppressed to around the foundation forging realm. Brothers, the bosses' cultivation bases have been suppressed to the foundation forging realm. Now's our chance to avenge our past grievances. Long Chen shouted and smashed his fist at Boss Bao, and Boss Bao blocked with his own fist. As a result, they were both blown back dozens of meters. Boss Bao was shocked and infuriated. With his first attack, he hadn't known his cultivation base was suppressed, and in order to not cause any accidents, he had been using the appropriate amount of power to beat them. That was what had resulted in Long Chen managing to injure him. But now, he was using all the power he could, and he ended up only in a draw. That made him finally feel a sense of unease. Attack. This is a rare chance to topple these shameless fellows. Today, we'll see who is the boss when we're in the same realm. Bao Buping and Chang Hao excitedly shouted and attacked. 
unleashing their powerful auras. Fuck, you evil brats. The seven bosses still didn't know that Long Chen had done something to the wine he had given them. Previously, they had still had their cultivation bases despite the diarrhea. But once they had washed up, the cold water had touched their skin, and this had caused some kind of miraculous change, making their spiritual yuan sluggish and suppressing their cultivation basis. It had happened so silently that they hadn't even noticed it. Who cares if we're suppressed down to the foundation forging realm? Everyone, bring out your real ability. Don't let others laugh at you. Attack. Boss Ba was worthy of being the head figure of the seven bosses, and he quickly calmed down leading the seven of them in attacking Long Chen's group of three, in front of the dumbfounded gazes of the heaven-splitting battle sects experts. Ten figures started a fierce battle, their fists and feet flying. Aya, you little brat, you broke my front teeth. Today, I'll Aya, my butt. Brats, your fists are pretty tough now that you want to flip the heavens. Brothers, fight. The seven bosses shouted and cursed. There was no skill to this brawl and they were quickly bruised black and blue. The fourth boss was especially miserable. It was unknown if he had paid too much special attention to Chang Hao or not, but Chang Hao covered the fourth boss's head in brazes, to the point that the swelling almost looked like a strange hat. It was shocking and funny. The fourth boss cursed repeatedly about how Chang Hao was a brat who would rather allow himself to be beaten by others than let him go, making Chang Hao so infuriated that he wanted to cough up blood. The seven bosses were still powerful in their current state. Long Chen, Chang Hao, and Bao Buping were covered in blood, and it was unknown how many times they were struck. But Long Chen was extremely experienced in this kind of chaotic battle. He held back the strongest boss, Boss Bao, not letting him attack Bao Buping and Chang Hao. If Chang Hao and Bao Buping collapsed, all alone, he would also be knocked out by the seven bosses. The seven bosses might have their cultivation bases suppressed, but their physical bodies were too strong, and they also had immense battle experience. Fortunately, Long Chen had experienced hundreds of battles, and close-range fighting was his specialty. On his own, he faced Boss Bao, the second boss, and the third boss. They were the strongest of the seven bosses, and Long Chen had to use every trick up his sleeve to hold them back. All his hopes rested on Bao Buping and Chang Hao. Bao Buping had the best chances. He was fighting the sixth boss and seventh boss. His chances of victory were the greatest. Bao Buping and Chang Hao both knew what Long Chen was thinking, and they launched all out attacks. The heaven splitting battle sect's disciples were incomparably shocked as they saw Long Chen with his limbs flying through the air, managing to hold his own against the three top bosses, even against the three of them. He was able to attack and defend properly, but Chang Hao and Bao Buping weren't able to fight as easily as him. The two of them had been beaten badly, and their faces had swollen to the point that they could only see out of a slit in the swelling. They were basically blind, fighting only with intuition. Their fighting style was one of direct collisions. A fist for a fist, a kick for a kick. This kind of fighting style was not stupid. In fact, it could be called very smart. Despite their own great battle experience, they couldn't compare to the bosses. If they tried to be fancy, there would be no way to win. Instead, exchanging injury for injury gave them better odds. Although they had to suffer as well, victory would be decided by who was more ruthless and could endure the longest. This was an unprecedentedly fierce battle. In the end, Bao Buping was truly a man. He managed to defeat the seventh boss, with the seventh boss knocked unconscious. The sixth boss was only able to last for a few exchanges before he also collapsed while cursing. Bao Buping was already swaying weakly, almost unable to keep standing. Waves of exhaustion battered him, but his shocking will forced him to charge toward Chang Hao's side. With Bao Buping's assistance, Chang Hao quickly managed to defeat the fifth boss and the fourth boss. From the moment Bao Buping knocked out the seventh boss, the spectators went wild with their cheering. Not even in their dreams would they have imagined the three of them would be able to make the bosses kneel. Seeing the bosses collapse one by one, the cheering grew louder and louder. This cheering gave Chang Hao and Bao Buping even more willpower. Despite having long since been exhausted, they rallied themselves to join Long Chen. Without a word, they charged toward the strongest one, Boss Bao. 
Boss Ba was shocked. Now he finally realized just how terrifying these brats that he often put in their place were. If he, the second boss, and the third boss were also defeated, it would be a complete defeat for them. That was unacceptable. Seeing the two of them charging over, shockingly, Boss Bao chose to retreat rather than fight. He refused to be entangled by them. At the same time, the second boss and third boss charged at Long Chen fiercely. They could see that these brats were too ruthless. The slightest carelessness would result in a miserable defeat. Right now, Long Chen was clearly attempting to work with those two to get rid of the greatest threat. Boss Bao. Boss Bao's physical body was too strong, and his destructive power was too great. When Long Chen and Boss Bao exchanged head on blows, it always resulted in both sides being injured, but he had it much easier against the second boss and third boss. In their current state, they were clearly weaker than him. Seeing that Boss Bao wanted to escape, Long Chen snorted and shot after him, appearing in front of him and sending a punch at him while ignoring the second boss and third boss behind him. You little brat, you dare to ignore us. This action was undoubtedly an insult to the second boss and third boss. The two of them were infuriated, and they smashed their fists at Long Chen's back. Two explosive sounds rang out as the clothes on Long Chen's back exploded. Everyone clearly saw two black fist prints appear on his back. Although the second boss and third boss's cultivation bases had been suppressed to the foundation forging realm, their power was still immense. But after this attack, their expressions immediately changed and they shouted, Watch out! The second boss and third boss were shocked to find that Long Chen had used some unknown method to actually absorb a portion of their energy. Boom! Receiving their attacks on his back, Long Chen succeeded in borrowing a bit of their power to send a punch at Boss Bao. Boss Bao vomited blood and flew back. He flew right into Bao Buping and Chang Hao who were rushing over. However, they were incredibly weak now and unable to cause any effective injuries on him. Clenching their teeth, they suddenly spread their arms, one of them wrapping his arms around his waist, the other wrapping his arms around his legs, firmly binding Boss Bao. Bastard. Boss Bao tried to throw them off, but the two of them refused to let go. Just at this moment, Long Chen's fist viciously landed on Boss Bao's furious and unwilling face. His eyes rolled up and he fainted. With Boss Bao knocked out, Bao Buping and Chang Hao also collapsed. They had already reached their limit and had no energy at all. Long Chen was also exhausted now. The bosses were truly powerful, and his body ached with pain. Many of his bones were broken. This was a direct competition. The bosses, Chang Hao, Bao Buping, none of them had used Heavenly Dao energy to heal. This was purely a stimulating battle to see who was stronger. Now the only ones left were the second boss and the third boss. All of their steps were unsteady as they tottered like drunkards yet continued to fight. After just a few breaths, the third boss was unable to continue and collapsed. With the third boss down, the second boss didn't last long either before being knocked out by Long Chen's punch. In the end, the only one standing was Long Chen. Heaven shaking cheering rang out. Long Chen didn't even have a chance to enjoy the pleasure of victory when he felt the world spinning around him, and he also collapsed. Chapter 1255 Heaven Splitting Divine Tablet Translator Born to be old man, you have to get justice for us. We were conned by that little brat Long Chen. Boss Bao and the other bosses were lamenting their loss to the old man at the peak of the mountain. This time, they had truly lost face. Furthermore, the seven of them were still bruised in the face and appeared wretched. Their cultivation bases were still suppressed to the foundation forging realm, so they couldn't even get revenge. The old man faintly smiled upon seeing their wretched appearances. All he spat out was, You deserve it, old man. How can you say that? It was those three brats who used a sinister plot to con us. You're not going to stand up for us, raged Boss Bao. Do you think I have that much time? Furthermore, it can't count as conning. All your cultivation bases were suppressed to the foundation forging realm. They fought three against seven, when you had quite the advantage in terms of both experience and physical strength. After losing, you still have the face to complain? Were all your years of cultivation focused on thickening your skin? Snorted the old man. How can you put it that way? We were completely unused to our suppressed cultivation bases. 
making it so we couldn't fight properly. Otherwise, how could we lose? Raged the seventh boss. His words were correct. Having your power suddenly suppressed would naturally cause your fighting style to become awkward. You really have gotten old and shameless. Do you have to find so many excuses for your loss? The old man looked contemptuously at them. Old man, you can't pamper them so much. If you allow them to act so wildly, how are we supposed to look after them in the future? Demanded the sixth boss. The seven bosses were the masters within the heaven-splitting battle sect other than the old man. They had the highest authority. And yet such figures had been beaten by three juniors. And in front of all their disciples at that, none of those disciples would revere them like they did before. If this continued, there would be no way to discipline those brats. That was why they joined forces to demand the old man deliver justice for them. He had to punish Long Chen's cheating. The few of you don't feel ashamed to complain? You should be thanking Long Chen. The old man shook his head and sighed. Thank him? Are you joking? He made us get diarrhea, then covered us in crap, and then beat us. Why would we thank him? The bosses felt that this kind of logic was insane. The medicine Long Chen put in your wine expelled the toxins that have been accumulating for many years. You should know that our heaven-splitting battle sect's battle god sacred canon is too domineering. It places special emphasis on the physical body. Each stage of cultivation corresponds to one of the nine forms of split the heavens, and using that form in the corresponding cultivation realm allows one to expel the toxins accumulated through practicing the battle god sacred canon. As soul transformation experts, according to the normal process, you should be training in the seventh form of split the heavens, but we only have up to the sixth form now. The result is that your bodies grew without expelling the energy that would be used up with the seventh form of split the heavens, and that energy turned into toxins in your bodies. That's also the reason why even after all these years, you've been stuck at the peak of the soul transformation realm. Back in my day, I had a lucky encounter which allowed me to break through to the life star realm. That was luck. But Long Chen has completely expelled the toxins in your bodies, and after a few more days, when the wine energy fades and your cultivation bases are restored, you will sense the huge changes in your bodies. Long Chen completely opened all your impossible bottlenecks. Within the next two years, all of you should be able to advance to the life star realm. Toward the end, the old man couldn't help but feel a bit emotional. That little fellow Long Chen truly had some interesting ideas. He actually used such a method to repay his debt. After absorbing all the energy in the heaven-earth divine pool, Long Chen had been ashamed. Although he hadn't expressed it, it wasn't able to escape the old man's eyes. In the beginning, when he had first noticed Long Chen adding something to the wine, he had thought it was purely for revenge. He hadn't said anything, because they could mess around as they wanted. But once he saw the boss's cultivation bases suppressed, he suddenly understood that Long Chen was doing this to silently repay the sect the seven bosses had been stuck at the soul transformation realm for countless years due to not being able to use the seventh form of split the heavens. Their chances of advancing had been extremely slim. But now, Long Chen had broken their bottlenecks, and he had done so in a way that looked like he was a child messing around and had accidentally caused such a result. If someone else did this, the old man wouldn't have realized it, but it was because that brat was too smart that he had thought it over and realized his intentions. Long Chen would simply refuse to admit that he had done this intentionally, and that made the old man feel a bit helpless, as well as grateful. Long Chen didn't like owing favors, but this repayment was truly great, far surpassing the value of the heaven-earth divine pool. In the next two years, the heaven-splitting battle sect would gain seven life star experts, which would surpass the level the heaven-splitting battle sect had ever achieved in recent years after declining. The seven bosses were dumbfounded upon hearing this. They hadn't expected Long Chen had given them such great fortune without them even knowing about it. They almost couldn't believe that they would be able to break through their current bottlenecks. But the old man was personally guaranteeing this. That meant it was certain. Thinking of how they had been so furious just now, they all felt a bit bad. You can go now. Long Chen's wine came from the wine god palace, so it's very powerful. It'll probably take a few days before your cultivation bases recover. 
Even at that time, don't mention this matter. Just act like nothing happened. If a child isn't obedient, you should properly beat them, said the old man. The seven of them nodded. They would probably continue being ruthless with the other disciples. But if they continued being so heavy-handed with Long Chen, it would be a bit ungrateful. Long Chen had given them a beating as well as a sweet. The conflicting flavor caused them to feel a bit awkward. Long Chen, Bao Buping, and Chang Hao spent three days drinking wine in high spirits. The battle record of them defeating the seven bosses was too marvelous. Chang Hao and Bao Buping finally had the qualifications to brag. As they bragged, their saliva splattered through the air. The glory of this battle had left a rich aftertaste. Drinking wine as they repeatedly talked about how they had fought so well was addicting to them. They repeatedly brought up how the two of them had marvelously worked together with just a glance at a critical time to tie down Boss Bao. The three of them were in the midst of bragging when Boss Bao appeared. His expression icy. Long Chen and the other two's expressions changed. And they hastily fled. Little brats. I heard your bragging a while ago. It was something about beating bosses into dogs? Fuck. If I don't beat the crap out of you today, then you can count your butts tight. Boss Bao instantly caught up to them and gave them a fierce beating. With his cultivation base returned, the three of them didn't have the slightest ability to resist. They were knocked down in just a few blows. You shameless old thing, if you have any ability, suppress your cultivation base back to the foundation forging realm so we can have a real fight. Cursed Bao Buping. This cursing got him another knock in head end. Boss Bao brought the three of them to the peak of the mountain where the old man and the other bosses were waiting. I called you over today because I need to discuss an extremely important matter with you, said the old man solemnly. The three of them sensed the atmosphere was off. Even the bosses had worried expressions. Their hearts shook. The old man said, after much consideration, I've decided to bring this up. This matter is very dangerous, so you'll have to think it over, old man. Are you talking about that matter? Bao Buping and Chang Hao's voice quivered slightly with excitement. The old man nodded. Yes, Long Chen still doesn't know about it. So I'll start from the beginning. He waved his hand, and a huge stone tablet appeared in the air. It was hundreds of meters tall and emitted an ancient air. The stone tablet was black as ink, and images were carved into it. Seeing those images, Long Chen's heart pounded. Those images were clearly the different forms of split the heavens. But the stone tablet was fractured. Only half of it was present. In that instant, Long Chen understood. The old man sighed as he looked at the stone tablet. This is the heaven-splitting divine tablet. It has the original illustration of the nine forms of split the heavens. But due to the tribulation from back then, it fractured and its divine nature weakened. Because we no longer have the original guidance of the full tablet. The split the heavens we cultivate has probably started to deviate from how it's supposed to be. The heaven splitting divine tablet is a special inheritance divine item, and a portion of it has been lost. With it lost, there is no way for us to comprehend the true essence of split the heavens. A sad expression appeared on the seven bosses' faces. Thinking of back in the day, the heaven splitting battle sect was the leader of the three great heavenly sects. Just how powerful did they have to be to have such a title? Just relying on a single powerful battle skill, they had been able to dominate the martial heaven continent, but now they had declined to the point that their inheritance was about to be severed. Just thinking about it distressed them. This was a humiliation. Old man, does the remaining portion of the heaven-splitting divine tablet still exist? Asked Long Chen. It definitely still exists. Otherwise. The divine nature of the heaven-splitting divine tablet would have completely faded, said the old man assuredly. Have you finally agreed to let us go search for it? Asked Bao Buping excitedly. Bao Buping and Chang Hao had both previously begged the old man to let them go search for it, but he had always refused. Now that the old man had taken the initiative to find them, they were incomparably excited. Yes, although I can't tell you the exact location. I can sense its general direction. But even after all these years, the Divine Tablet is still broken, while countless heroes have lost their lives. Sighed the old man. Where is it? Asked Long Chen. One of the seven great danger zones. 
Devil Spirit Mountain, Chapter 1256 Devil Spirit Mountain Secret Translator Born to be the three words of Devil Spirit Mountain smashed into Long Chen's heart like hammers. Although the Martial Heaven Sea Ring was also considered one of the seven danger zones, its danger was actually the lowest amongst the seven. That was because it was too huge, and the main danger stemmed from the sea demons. The sea demon race's experts would rarely attack human cultivators unless the latter caused trouble for them first. But other than the Martial Heaven Sea Ring, the other danger zones were true lands of death. Humans were forbidden from entering. Jung Wenlong had once mentioned Devil Spirit Mountain to Long Chen. At that time, it had become enshrouded in mist, making it impossible to gather the spirit gathering grass that grew around it. That grass was the main ingredient of the forging heart spirit connecting pill. When Long Chen had asked Jung Wenlong about Devil Spirit Mountain, Jung Wenlong had told him despite its name and fame as one of the seven danger zones, there had never actually been any devils to come out of it. Instead, rather than devils, what people occasionally saw were scenes of an immortal wonderland. Many heard the sound of immortal music that allowed their cultivation bases to progress. Some would even suddenly break through their bottlenecks. It was extremely strange. There were many legends regarding Devil Spirit Mountain. Some of those legends were beautiful and some of them were evil, making it impossible for people to tell exactly what it was. But Jung Wenlong had warned Long Chen that he absolutely couldn't enter it. With Jung Wenlong's status, for him to say such a thing meant that he knew some secrets regarding it that he couldn't disclose to Long Chen. All he could do was warn him. Now that he heard the Devil Spirit Mountain be mentioned by the old man, Long Chen's heart pounded. He had never imagined that the other half of the heaven-splitting divine tablet had been lost in Devil Spirit Mountain. Old man, are you sure about that location? Asked Long Chen. All I can say is that the other half of the heaven-splitting divine tablet is definitely in Devil Spirit Mountain. Let me tell you a bit about the Devil Spirit Mountain. Information which pertains even to the whole continent's secrets. Long Chen. Bao Buping and Chang Hao also hastily sat properly in anticipation. Even the bosses were solemnly sitting, wanting to hear. The old man sank into thought for a moment, most likely organizing his thoughts. He then began to tell them a story that was known only to a few people. Over a hundred thousand years ago, the Martial Heaven continent had gone through a tribulation that had changed it forever. That time was called the Dark Era. That was a time where the entire Martial Heaven continent had nearly been wiped out. This Dark Era has lasted for over 10,000 years. As for the cause of the Dark Era, no one could say any longer. But its conclusion had been passed down through the ages. The Dark Era ended with a huge calamity. Its darkness had caused the entire continent to be gravely injured. Countless foreign experts had invaded the Martial Heaven continent, attempting to slaughter all life. Faced with their death. The Martial Heaven Continent's experts fought back. Rivers of blood flowed through the continent, and mountains of corpses piled up. Almost all the top experts of the various large sects were lost. But in the end, under the guidance of a sovereign, they managed to beat back the invaders to their own worlds, saving the Martial Heaven Continent. A sovereign? What kind of existence is that? Asked Bao Buping. He had never heard of such a thing. Shut your mouth. Don't interrupt the old man. Boss Bao slapped Bao Buping on the back of his head. The old man ignored the disturbance. Continuing with his story. That had been a true apocalyptic battle. If they had lost. All this world's life forms would have been slaughtered. At that time. Every sect had fought with their lives on the line. Only a few supreme sects were able to survive. But even they took heavy losses. Their sect's treasures ended up crippled. Severing their inheritance. With the full attack of all the sects, the invaders also lost countless experts. In the end, once they were forced back to their worlds, their entrance to this world was sealed, restoring the Martial Heaven Continent's peace. But even though peace came back to the continent, it had been gravely wounded. After a period of resting, dissenting factions appeared like the ancient races, and it was at this time that the corrupt path suddenly showed up with great power. Another chaotic period of fighting occurred as all the large powers fought over resources, devouring other powers, trying to stabilize their foundations. A few neutral powers also appeared. Mysterious existences sprang up like spring bamboo, 
Although the Martial Heaven continent eventually recovered, after that dark era, the world had changed. Another sovereign never appeared. As for Devil Spirit Mountain, it was one of the entrances that the invaders had gone through back during the dark era. At that time, the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect, Zhuanshan Dao Sect, and other sects all paid a bloody price. The Heaven Splitting Divine Tablet had been broken at that time, with a portion of it lost within. Devil Spirit Mountain now had a sovereign seal on it, but due to the encroaching of time, it had started to weaken in the past 30,000 years. It was now possible for the Martial Heaven Continent's people to enter Devil Spirit Mountain, but the seal refused to allow people above the Jade Core Realm to enter. Once the sovereign seal had weakened, countless brave experts had attempted to charge into Devil Spirit Mountain, of course. This had included the elites of the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect but the experts who charged into Devil Spirit Mountain all died without exception at that time. As a result, most experts no longer dared to enter. However, there was an exception to that. Other experts braved the danger in search of treasures, but the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect was trying to regain its inheritance. In the past 30,000 years, it was unknown how many generations of their top geniuses had attempted to find their lost inheritance. Regaining it was each of these disciples' sacred duty. Even though they had all died, not one of them had batted an eye. But as more time passed, the heaven-splitting battle sect's heart had grown cold. In all these years, only two of their disciples had ever managed to return from Devil Spirit Mountain. The first disciple died as soon as he got out without saying a word. The second disciple also didn't manage to say anything before dying right after getting out, but he had been tightly clutching a tile in his hand that had one word hastily written on it, hoax. Clearly this disciple had only barely managed to scrawl this down before dying. He had used his powerful willpower to charge out and bring this information. It was unknown what that disciple's true intent was behind what he had written, but it was clear that there was a huge conspiracy hidden within. That was why in the past 8,000 years, the heaven-splitting battle sect hadn't sent a single one of their disciples in. Furthermore, during this time, another few things occurred which further corroborated that disciple's final word. Just 3,000 years ago, strange sights had started appearing in the entrance of Devil Spirit Mountain. Sometimes flying immortals would appear. Sometimes immortal music would ring out. Projections would also show up in the air. Amongst those projections was the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect's priceless treasure, the Heaven Splitting Divine Tablet. After seeing these projections, countless experts had once more charged in. Although they had known it was dangerous, they were unable to resist the temptation of so many treasures. Furthermore, they wanted to know the secrets of Devil Spirit Mountain. Experts had flocked over like a mob. It was said that at that time, at least hundreds of thousands of experts had charged in, but only a few managed to live to tell the tale. According to their stories, there were countless treasures inside, but there were also terrifying life forms guarding them. Those life forms were incredibly powerful, and humans were slaughtered by them. Although those life forms' cultivation bases had been at the King Realm, the human race's experts had been too weak to receive even a single blow from them. In the next few years, most experts no longer dared to think about invading Devil Spirit Mountain, but the greed and curiosity of humans were limitless. Although Devil Spirit Mountain hid countless dangers, there were still a few people who had heaven-defying luck that managed to escape with treasures. Some people obtained an eternal life fruit that allowed a cultivator whose lifespan was about to run out to live another thousand years. Some people obtained remnants of ancient cannons that allowed their cultivation bases to advance and shake the world, making them legendary existences. Some people also managed to obtain the ancestral items of their sects, restoring their declined sects. Some people also heard the pointers of powerful experts which allowed their cultivation bases to rapidly progress. To sum up, there were countless legends about Devil Spirit Mountain. Everyone knew the danger within. If you entered, your chances of leaving alive were very, very low. According to the experience of those who returned, the life forms within had extremely sharp senses to those at the King Realm. On the other hand, foundation forging experts had a certain chance of dodging their senses. Our heaven-splitting battle sect's disciples have more than enough bravery, 
but they're lacking in their heads. But Long Chen, you possess both factors. So, the old man sighed. The old man had once told Long Chen that he had to trust his power instead of relying on intelligence. But now that he said this, he felt like he was contradicting himself. But the reality was just like that. When they just relied on power to try to solve things, they ended up losing the lives of countless disciples. On the other hand, it was those free cultivators who relied on their wits and luck who had a low chance of obtaining some treasures and leaving alive. So he had no choice but to admit that intelligence was also important. It just felt contradictory. I understand. When I handle things in the future, I'll rely on my power instead of intelligence. Power will be my number one choice. But when I run into an enemy with absolute power over me, I won't just foolishly send myself to death. Having a few schemes and thoughts is also necessary. It's up to my own control. And I won't let it rattle my Dao heart again said Long Chen. Good, that's good. But Devil Spirit Mountain is filled with danger, so you have to think it over carefully, said the old man. Old man, I am also a member of the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect this is my duty, and I also want to experience just how terrifying this Devil Spirit Mountain is. Long Chen smiled slightly, because high risk signified high reward. Chapter 1257 Sovereign Blood Seal Translator Born to be Devil Spirit Mountain was situated near the south of the Central Plains Eastern section. If someone were to buy a map with this location on it, the word forbidden would be marked on it with a human skull. Devil Spirit Mountain was just a name. Whether it was truly a mountain or not was something no one knew. All people knew was that the entrance to Devil Spirit Mountain was located at the peak of a mountain. This mountain was huge, but there was not a single blade of grass growing on it. All the earth here was scarlet. Even the dirt contained an aura of decay and yet also vast pressure. Legend was that this ground had been dyed with the blood of countless experts. And even after all these years, it still emitted that terrifying pressure. Cultivators below the Xi'anshan realm wouldn't even be able to approach this place. Only people at the foundation forging realm and above could withstand this pressure. There were two ancient stone pillars at the top of the mountain. They soared into the air looking like the pillars of a gate that was propping up the sky. The pillars formed a huge entrance around a mile wide while emitting their own terrifying pressure. Blood-red runes revolved over the stone pillars, causing the void to quiver. Between the two pillars was a huge blood-colored rune exile. Its pressure was on a completely different level. It was something that could suppress heaven and earth. Below the seal was the entrance to Devil Spirit Mountain, while the two stone pillars were a huge ceiling formation. As for the runic seal between them, that was the sovereign blood seal. At this time, Long Chen, Chang Hao, and Bao Buping were standing in front of the gate, looking in shock at the huge seal. They felt power from that seal that they had never felt before. A reverence that came from their souls gave them an urge to kneel toward it. This is a seal created through the blood of a sovereign? Even after a hundred thousand years has passed, it still possesses such power. Just what kind of existence is a sovereign Bao Buping looked at the sovereign blood seal with shock. Just how terrifying did a sovereign have to be for a seal they had placed over a hundred thousand years ago to still possess such might? Even after all this time, this seal was stopping the life forms on the other side from taking a single step into the martial heaven continent. The old man said that sovereigns are the existences that stand at the peak of this world. They are literally and figuratively the sovereigns of the world. Existences that are completely unrivaled, said Chang Hao worshipfully. Long Chen also looked at the sovereign blood seal with shock. This seal condensed through blood energy was still able to protect the martial heaven continent from whatever creatures existed in Devil Spirit Mountain on the other side. When Long Chen looked at the sovereign blood seal, the seal suddenly quivered slightly, forming an image that only Long Chen could see. That was an image of a white-robed man standing in the air, his eyes as bright as the sun and his hair falling to his shoulders. He was like a god, so imposing that others would feel it was a blasphemy just to look at him. He saw the white-robed man form a hand seal, causing heaven and earth to shake. The clouds were blown away as the earth suddenly soared to form a huge mountain. Long Chen's heart pounded. That mountain was very familiar. It was Devil Spirit Mountain. According to this, Devil Spirit Mountain had been personally formed by the white-robed man, 
As Devil Spirit Mountain took shape, the countless corpses littered on the ground were absorbed along with their blood, condensing into countless blood runes. Then two blood-colored stone pillars slammed down onto the mountain. Long Chen clearly saw those two pillars absorb all the blood runes. When the pillars fell, the entire world became blood-colored for an instant. It was like the world had been dyed in blood. The stone pillars rapidly absorbed that energy. At the same time, the white-robed man pointed out a single finger. Blood chains condensed of his own blood flew out. The blood vaguely shone with immortal light. The blood chains shot out, sealing heaven and earth, forming a huge runic seal between the two pillars. Long Chen didn't know why he was seeing this, but he could guess that this man was that legendary sovereign. This scene was how the Sovereign had sealed Devil Spirit Mountain. The Sovereign had used the blood of all the experts that had fallen in battle to condense a huge seal and then used his own blood to completely lock up Devil Spirit Mountain. Regretfully, Long Chen didn't get a chance to see any experts or different life forms from the other side. But just this was enough to completely shock him. Every move of this Sovereign had brought with it the flow of the Tao. It was like heaven and earth was subservient to him. After forming the seal, the Sovereign clasped his hands behind him as he stood there, looking around. Shockingly, he then turned to look at Long Chen. Long Chen's heart almost jumped out of his chest. Even across the river of time, he could sense this existence that could shake heaven and earth looking at him. Long Chen didn't say anything and neither did the Sovereign. The two of them silently looked at each other. In the end, the Sovereign smiled and sent him a divine message. The Gamma Breaker has finally arrived. Long Chen's heart pounded. This was the second time he heard of the Gamma Breaker. Back in the Four Nations Ancient Remnant, he had encountered that mysterious elder that had also said the same thing. For the Sovereign to also say the same thing shocked him. Could it be that this Sovereign and that elder were from the same generation and knew some heaven-shaking secret? What is it? Long Chen. Just at this moment, Bao Buping's voice rang out beside Long Chen's ear and that scene instantly vanished as if it had never appeared. It was like everything he had seen had just been a dream. Long Chen saw the sovereign blood seal still floating there, but the image of the white-robed man had disappeared. It's nothing. I was just entranced, said Long Chen. His heart was heavy. He felt like he had been drawn into an enormous plot, or perhaps he should say he had been drawn into a heaven-shaking game. He was like someone on the verge of death who was frantically trying to grasp the final life jacket. But even he didn't know what this life jacket was. In order to grasp this life jacket, he would need to continuously accumulate power. Right now, he felt a bit lost. Although he was now so much stronger than in the past, the sense of crisis only grew greater. He still had no idea what problem had occurred with the nine-star hegemon body art and why the fifth star refused to appear. He suddenly felt an unprecedented feeling of crisis. Long Chen, you're here. Just at this moment, a voice that had no good intentions rang out. There were quite a few people at the Sovereign Blood Seal. At least a few dozen people. They were mostly wild cultivators who had been preparing themselves to test their luck in Devil Spirit Mountain. Most of them had run into a bottleneck with their cultivation and no longer had any hope of advancing in their lifetimes. That was why they were determined to test this extremely remote chance while having prepared to die. But some of them were extremely confident experts with terrifying power and great ambitions who came to adventure in Devil Spirit Mountain. As for the speaker, it came from the latter group. It was a lanky man who appeared to be in his twenties. His arms went past his knees and he was covered in dark red fur Long Chen looked at him, and based on his appearance, it was easy to tell that he was from the ancient races. He was a rank 8 celestial with a powerful aura. His gaze was like a blade sweeping across Long Chen. He didn't bother concealing his hostility. A monkey, asked Long Chen. Bastard, I came from the respected Scarlet Blood Gold 8 race. Long Chen, if you have any gods. You'll have a fair fight with me to resolve the enmity between you and the ancient races. Of course, you can also hide under the protection of the heaven-splitting battle sect if you're a coward. It's up to you, replied the ancient race expert disdainfully. A crafty light in his eyes. A rank 8 celestial wanted to challenge Long Chen? Bao Buping and Chang Hao exchanged a look and almost laughed. It really wasn't possible to stop people who wanted to court death. 
Long Chen smiled faintly and said, I'm surprised you don't feel embarrassed to use such low-grade provoking arts. Aren't monkeys supposed to be smart? Why is there so much crap in your head? The ancient race expert was infuriated, and he sneered. All you need to do is agree to a fight. Where did all this bullshit come from? This expert had long since heard of Long Chen's name. He had heard how the ancient races had lost out because of him several times, and how they had suffered a huge loss especially during the matter of the Four Nations ancient remnant. Then several race leaders had gone to demand Long Chen be handed over from the heaven-splitting battle sect without receiving the ancient race alliance's approval. As a result, they had almost been annihilated. If they hadn't fled fast enough, not even a single one of them would have escaped. This matter had shaken the ancient races, and the ancient race alliance had sent out the word not to provoke the heaven-splitting battle sect. The heaven-splitting battle sect was well known as a pack of madmen in the central plains. Even if they were annihilated, they would very likely launch a crazy counterattack as they died. Anyone who provoked them at this time would just be an idiot. The ancient race alliance didn't support the race leaders who had acted of their own accord and instead gave them a vicious tongue lashing. They sent out orders to absolutely not to provoke the heaven-splitting battle sect as for this disciple. He was extremely confident, but he remembered those orders. So he didn't directly attack. He wanted to infuriate Long Chen to make him fight, and that wouldn't count as offending the heaven-splitting battle sect. Long Chen looked at him with a strange light in his eyes. He helplessly said, All right, I won't say any more nonsense. Let me experience your amazing moves. But let me first warn you, I'm not very good at holding back. If you die, don't blame me. Haha, <laughs> you want to kill me? Keep dreaming. I'll show you the terrifying ability of the Scarlet Blood Gold Ape race. That disciple raised his head and laughed, his aura instantly exploding. Chapter 1258 Are you trying to be funny? Translator. Born to be the Scarlet Blood Gold Ape race's expert sneered and suddenly unleashed his aura. Runes revolved around him as his aura soared. What slightly surprised Long Chen was that his dark red fur suddenly became golden. In the instant that his fur changed color. A huge illusory image appeared behind him. The roar of an eight king shook the sky. He, Long Chen, get ready to face your death. My scarlet blood gold eight races power can't be compared to other ancient races. I'll let you see what true power is. The ancient race expert sneered. A brutal light shining in his eyes. Raising his furry fist, he sent a single punch at Long Chen. Pow. In front of the startled gazes of Chang Hao. Bao Buping as well as the wild cultivators who had come to take their chances. The Scarlet Blood Gold Ape expert was slapped across the face by Long Chen and swatted away like a housefly. This slap was too fast for them to even see it clearly. But that ancient race expert was already vomiting blood, all his teeth flying through the air. He slammed into one of the stone pillars. The stone pillar unleashed a blood-colored light that instantly blew him to bits. Not even his soul escaped. Are you trying to be funny? Even Long Chen was dumbfounded. What was going on? This arrogant scarlet blood gold ape expert was killed in one shot just like this? He almost found it hard to believe. This idiot really is unlucky. He actually slammed into the sovereign seal's stone pillar with such power. Of course the sovereign blood seal was going to kill him. Chang Hao was also speechless. This result caught him a bit off guard. Those two huge stone pillars were connected with the Sovereign Blood Seal. Just touching it wouldn't normally cause any problems. But if you used any force, it would be viewed as an attack and the Sovereign Blood Seal would automatically counterattack. The Sovereign Blood Seal wasn't something a weak foundation forging expert could endure. In fact, even a soul transformation expert would be instantly annihilated without the slightest hope of survival. The Scarlet Blood Gold Ape expert had been either too arrogant or too stupid. He had actually neglected to pay heed to his surroundings. Rather than saying Long Chen had killed him, it was more accurate to say the stone pillar had killed him. So his death truly was a bit ridiculous. After being killed, he didn't leave anything behind. Even his spatial ring had been turned to dust. But Long Chen didn't gain nothing. Another Heaven Dao fruit had appeared in the primal chaos space. But this time was different. Previously, when a celestial was killed, their core heavenly Tao energy would be sucked away by the primal chaos beat instantly. This time, 
Long Chen had clearly felt the Sovereign Blood Seal had fought with the Primal Chaos Bead over some kind of energy. However, in front of the Primal Chaos Bead, that suction force had been too weak. The seal could only allow this energy to be taken away. This was Long Chen's first time encountering such a thing. He couldn't help being shocked. What was going on? Long Chen, let's go in, said Bao Buping. Seeing the entrance below the Sovereign Blood Seal, battle intent raged in his eyes. In the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect, finding the Heaven Splitting Divine Tablet was every disciple's most sacred mission. Even if they had to pay with their lives, they wouldn't frown. Even if they never found it, fighting for it was their glory. That was because the nine forms of split the heavens were the lifeline of the heaven splitting battle sect in truth. Bao Buping, Chang Hao, and the other disciples didn't know that their heaven earth divine pool had run out because of Long Chen. But even if Long Chen hadn't appeared, the heaven splitting battle sect wouldn't have been able to survive for long. Right now, the heaven splitting battle sect was already standing on the border of death. After reaching the foundation forging realm, Bao Buping and Chang Hao had begged the old man to go to Devil Spirit Mountain countless times, but he had refused every time. In fact, once when the two had stealthily sneaked away, they had been immediately caught and fiercely beaten. Now that Long Chen arrived, they didn't know what the old man was thinking, but he suddenly permitted them to go. Seeing the entrance to Devil Spirit Mountain, they were impatient to search for the Heaven Splitting Divine Tablet within. Long Chen looked around. He saw several wild cultivators looking at the entrance to Devil Spirit Mountain with conflicted expressions. They clearly hadn't made up their minds as to whether or not they wanted to step into this land of death. These wild cultivators all had low statuses and limited resources. After reaching the Foundation Forging Realm or perhaps the Jade Core Realm, they no longer had any hope of advancing again. That was the only reason they would come to Devil Spirit Mountain. This was their final chance. Losing meant dying without a corpse. But if they could leave alive, they would definitely return with amazing gains. No matter what they brought out of Devil Spirit Mountain, it would benefit them for a lifetime. They had used their final savings to buy a supreme teleportation talisman. If they did manage to get out of Devil Spirit Mountain, they would immediately use this teleportation talisman to flee far away so they didn't need to worry about anyone coveting their treasures. The ironic thing was that after Devil Spirit Mountain had started opening up to adventurers, the prices of these supreme teleportation talismans spiked, making the talisman cultivators rich. In the end, these people standing in front of Devil Spirit Mountain were unable to gather their courage to enter, resulting in them dithering over the entrance. The chances of dying once they entered were too high. No one laughed at them. In front of death. Only a few people were able to act confident. Long Chen looked at the two of them surging with battle intent and shook his head. If they entered like this, they would definitely die. He pulled them to the side and gravely warned them. The reason the old man allowed the three of us to come here is mostly because of me. So the two of you have to listen to me once we're in. We know. You're the one with the best head. We'll do as you say. Bao Buping and Chang Hao nodded. Ever since Long Chen had led them to defeat the seven bosses, allowing their names to shake the entire sect, they and the rest of the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect's disciples had started viewing him as a godlike existence. They would naturally listen to his orders. This was also something the old man had strictly ordered them to do before coming. Good. Then before entering Devil Spirit Mountain, we'll need to talk to them first. Long Chen nodded and led them to the entrance. At this time, there were quite a few people struggling over their decisions. Everyone, the three of us want to enter Devil Spirit Mountain, but there are some things I have to say first. Devil Spirit Mountain is filled with countless dangers, and the odds of death are shockingly high. Since everyone has come here, I know you've come here to gamble with your lives, began Long Chen. These people looked at Long Chen warily. The fact that he had killed a rank 8 celestial with a slap had shocked them all. Although they all knew it was actually the Sovereign Blood Seal that had killed him, it was indisputable that Long Chen had slapped that powerful expert like he had been a child. His power was shocking enough for them to all listen carefully. So I think that while we aren't allies, we can't count as enemies. So there's something I must tell you all. After we enter Devil Spirit Mountain, 
For the next six hours, no one else is permitted to enter. If anyone wants to take advantage by following us, the three of us won't be merciful. Long Chen's gaze swept over them. Long Chen's meaning was obvious. After entering, he didn't want to be implicated by anyone else. If someone else caused a disturbance that drew out some terrifying existence, the three of them would be dead. So he first gave them a warning. If anyone really wanted to court death, Long Chen would definitely kill them. This was Devil Spirit Mountain, and he couldn't be the slightest bit careless. After saying this, Long Chen didn't give them any chance to declare their own positions. He led Chang Hao and Bao Buping to the entrance. He wasn't discussing this. He was warning them. Bao Buping and Chang Hao exchanged a glance. They had never thought about such details before. The three of them walked between the two stone pillars. The huge sovereign blood seal floated above their heads. Only once they were closed did they truly sense just how terrifying it was. In front of this huge seal, they felt themselves to be insignificant ants. They were filled with reverence and shock. The energy accumulated within the sovereign blood seal was enough to exterminate this entire world. It possessed unimaginable power. The three of them were like three ants scuttling in front of this huge entrance. With the sovereign blood seal's pressure above them, they all felt like their hearts were going to rise out of their throats. Even with the guts of Chang Hao and Bao Buping, their faces were pale. Although they didn't sense any hostility from the sovereign blood seal, that kind of world-destroying power evoked terror in their souls. The stone pillars and the sovereign blood seal between them formed a huge gate. But at the bottom of this gate was a crack, a tear in space that was dozens of meters wide. Three people now stood in front of this crack. Let's go. The three of them exchanged a glance. Taking a deep breath, they stepped into the crack. The wild cultivators outside were deeply shaken to see the three of them walk in just like this. They were filled with admiration. According to reason, the heavenly geniuses of the various sects had limitless futures. They would soar like shooting stars. Their lives were incredibly valuable, but they hadn't even frowned before charging into one of the seven danger zones. Six hours from now, I want to be the next one to enter. I hope everyone will give me this face. One of the wild cultivators clenched his teeth. I will be the third. Having been influenced by the three of them, these wild cultivators who had been unable to gather their courage finally decided to hesitate no longer. They had only come here because they had no hope for their futures, or because they had no choice but to put their lives on the line. Either way, seeing that the powerful heavenly geniuses were able to ignore death like this allowed them to resolve to go in. If even such valiant figures were willing to risk it, why did they need to be so reluctant? When Long Chen, Chang Hao, and Bao Buping entered the crack, they felt their bodies tighten. Space seemed to vaguely change. When they saw the scene around them, they sucked in a cold gasp of air. Chapter 1259 The Trap Translator Born to be the stone pillars were still present, and the sovereign blood seal still hung in the air. But what they were seeing around them was different. There were black strands of chi coiling up ahead. Those black strands of chi were like countless sinister pythons that were constantly attacking the sovereign blood seal. Rumbling sounds rang out so loudly that it shook their ears and caused pain in their souls. Seeing this black mist in front of them made their scalps turn numb. That sinister energy felt like countless blades pointed at them. As long as they moved, they would be pierced through the heart. This should be the buffer zone of the sovereign blood seal that the old man mentioned. Constantly sealing the entrance of Devil Spirit Mountain. The Sovereign Blood Seal receives this constant encroachment Long Chen couldn't help being shocked as he saw the Black Mist constantly attacking the Sovereign Blood Seal. Just what kind of existence did a Sovereign have to be for a single seal that they left behind to have such power after being attacked like this for over a hundred thousand years? This zone was close to the Sovereign Blood Seal, which made it safe. It was said that this safe zone was a semicircle covering hundreds of miles. Long Chen in which direction should we go? Asked Bao Buping. Their divine sense was unable to pierce the black mist in front of them. They were all blind. Most people would choose to go along the edges here. So let's just go straight in. Perhaps this will lower the danger slightly, said Long Chen. Although the odds of this were very low, it was probably best to walk a different path from others. Looking at the sovereign blood seal behind them to determine their orientation. 
They continued onward carefully. All of them were suppressing their heartbeats, their breathing, and even the opening of their pores as much as possible. Even though the three of them had big gods, they didn't dare to be the slightest bit careless here. This was Devil Spirit Mountain. It was unknown how many peerless martyrs had died here in the battle back then. And it was also unknown just how many geniuses had died here in the past tens of thousands of years. Bao Buping and Chang Hao were tightly holding their broadswords, while Long Chen held the pot in his left hand and Blood Drinker in his right hand. This black mist could block their divine sense, but it wasn't able to block the danger sense the Nine Star Hegemon body art possessed. Long Chen was using those senses to advance. He had the utmost confidence in the Nine Star Hegemon body art and it was the greatest factor that allowed him to dare to come to Devil Spirit Mountain. Even with this sharp danger sense, Long Chen was still advancing slowly and carefully. It took four hours for them to reach the point that the black mist began to fade and their sight restored. Long Chen waved his hand. Bao Buping and Chang Hao immediately stopped. The three of them hid behind a black rock, peering out of a crack to see the scene outside. Now that they were within Devil Spirit Mountain, they didn't dare to use their divine sense to avoid anyone sensing it. Using just their eyes was safer. They saw an unending mountain range. The mountains were barren, and it was impossible to see their end. Due to the rising and falling mountains, it was impossible to see what could be inside the gulches. Now that they were here, Bao Buping and Chang Hao couldn't help being a bit surprised. This didn't seem as terrifying as the land of death they had imagined. They didn't see a single powerful life form. Long Chen also didn't sense any danger. He was curious, and having a thought, he turned toward the black mist and crushed a medicinal pill. The medicinal pill transformed into powder that slowly floated toward the black mist. But once it did, the powder was suddenly blocked by some invisible energy. Seeing this, Bao Buping and Chang Hao's expressions changed. Long Chen nodded. As expected, it's a trap. What do you mean? Asked the two of them. This region outside the black mist has its own formation around it. It only allows people to enter, but not leave. My guess is that as soon as we try to leave, the formation will stop us and also alert the life forms of this world, said Long Chen gravely. He looked at the ground and saw a batch of dirt that was scarlet a few hundred meters away. That further confirmed his guess. Then we can't go back, asked Bao Buping. He then shook his head and said, No, that's impossible. If it was impossible to go back, how did one of our disciples manage to return with word that this was a hoax? Furthermore, what about those people who managed to escape with treasures? There must be an exit somewhere. Long Chen shook his head. There's no chance of that. There's no way they would leave an opening in this formation. That's completely illogical. This is the territory of this world's creatures and this formation was clearly established by them. If you put yourself in their shoes, would you leave an opening? This is not a trial. There are mortal enemies. Hearing this, Bao Buping's burst of confidence vanished. It truly didn't make sense for there to be a backdoor. Then what do you think is going on? If there really is such a formation, how did two disciples of our heaven-splitting battle sect escape, as well as those lucky adventurers? Bao Buping and Chang Hao didn't bother wasting time thinking about it themselves. They directly asked Long Chen. Long Chen looked at the medicinal powders that were blocked from the black mist. This formation isn't something we should touch right now. I don't know how powerful it is, but this world's creatures aren't idiots. The power of this formation must surpass the power a Jade Core expert can possess to make it so even they are unable to get through it. As for why those two geniuses of our heaven-splitting battle sect could escape Devil Spirit Mountain, I feel like it's very likely to do with Split the Heavens. Split the Heavens has a barrier-breaking effect. Whether it's a formation, a magical art, or a shield, they become flimsy in front of Split the Heavens. Furthermore, the old man said that those two disciples were extremely powerful, not at all weaker than us. Bao Buping and Chang Hao nodded. This comforted them a bit. If this was the case, there was a high chance for them to get out. If a single disciple had been able to break out, then it should be no problem for the three of them. That's not right. What about those lucky adventurers? How do you explain that? Asked Chang Hao. Those adventurers weren't disciples of the heaven-splitting battle sect, nor did they know split the heavens. 
How had they managed to escape? This probably has to do with how one of our deceased seniors said it was a hoax, said Long Chen, sinking into thought. What about it is a hoax? I'm just guessing, so I can't be sure. But when the old man first told us about those people that returned from Devil Spirit Mountain with their cultivation bases advancing, their brilliant treasures, and their names resounding throughout the world, I immediately felt it was odd. Were those people idiots? Why would they start widely announcing that they had obtained treasures as if they were worried other people wouldn't know of it? In reality, none of those people had good endings. The majority of them were secretly killed by other experts, and those treasures transferred owners. There are even some who simply vanished. Basically, none of them managed to escape calamity. That also doesn't make sense. That sounds right. Those people really were stupid. Weren't they deliberately making other people greedy for their treasures and drawing killers? Chang Hao and Bao Buping both came to a sudden understanding. So that didn't make sense. And looking at this formation, as well as how that disciple said it was all a hoax, I feel like those lucky people are most likely just a con made by the life forms of this world. They should have used some kind of method to control those people's souls, allowing them to bring out a few useless treasures. They had those people spread the word as much as possible to draw more people here, when in reality, they're just drawn to a deep trap. Long Chen's gaze grew sharper and colder as he looked around. He smelled something was off. He felt like he was currently in the middle of some mysterious riddle. Just why had the Dark Era occurred at all back then? No one knew. There were a few legends that had trickled down from that time, but they were confusing and contradictory, making their credibility very low. Now that they had entered Devil Spirit Mountain, Long Chen's sense of crisis grew. It felt like a heavy rock was crushing his heart. Long Chen, the two of us are too dumb for this. Can you explain it more clearly? Bao Buping scratched his head. They didn't quite understand. It was no wonder the old man hadn't allowed them to enter Devil Spirit Mountain before. Their heads truly didn't work too well. What I mean is that those people that escaped only managed to do so because this world's creatures let them. They intentionally let them out to draw more people here. As for why they would do such a thing, we don't know yet. There's no need for you to think about this. All you need to do is follow me. If a single person was able to break out of this formation with split the heavens, there should be no problem for the three of us. But since we've come, we definitely can't leave empty-handed. Otherwise, the bosses would look down on us. We have to bring back some good stuff for them. Long Chen couldn't be bothered to explain too much to them. In any case, they wouldn't understand. So there was no point. As expected, their eyes began to shine as they thought of the heaven-splitting divine tablet. They were almost able to see the few bosses kneeling on the ground before them as they brought it back. Their eyes popping out of their heads and their mouths opening so widely that they were bigger than the rest of their heads. Their blood began to boil. Seeing them enter such a state, Long Chen hastily patted them on the shoulder and said, Don't get too excited. This will probably be much more difficult than we thought. To be safe, each one of us should eat an aura concealing pill and apply medicinal powders to conceal our presence. Let's also change into clothes that match the color of the terrain here. Long Chen took out three medicinal pills. After making these preparations, they stealthily continued onward. The mountain range was completely empty here. They didn't see a single person. But every now and then, they would see blood stains that had almost lost all their color after the encroachment of time. They were sometimes able to sense the leftover aura of the deceased experts. Those stains told them that they could lose their lives at any moment. They definitely couldn't be careless. So they didn't go very quickly. Even after over four hours, they had only crossed a dozen mountains. But on the way, they had seen quite a few rotted corpses and broken weapons. Long Chen even saw the remnants of an ancestral item. Picking up one of them, he still sensed its terrifying pressure. From its shape, it should have been the fragment of a set of armor. Although it was only the size of a chicken's egg, it was as heavy as a mountain and incredibly hard. Such a terrifying ancestral item had been destroyed, leaving behind just this small piece. The battle back then must have been horrific. Quick, get down. Long Chen's expression suddenly changed and he pulled the two of them into a crack in the rocks. 
They had only just hidden themselves when a terrifying pressure appeared. Chapter 1260 Creatures from Another World Translator Born to be Long Chen pulled Chang Hao and Bao Buping into a crack in the rocks. He saw a strange figure in the air whistling over. It was a humanoid creature with wings. Its size was essentially the same as a human, but it had bat-like wings and its nose was slightly sharper. It had a mouth of sharp teeth, and its eyes glowed. It looked extremely terrifying. A winged devil. Noveloon.com Long Chen was startled. This creature was extremely similar to the winged devils he had encountered in the Jiuli secret realm. But the winged devils he had encountered in the Jiuli secret realm had been tens to hundreds of meters tall, while this one was much smaller. This creature clearly had a protruding spot on its forehead that looked like a closed third eye. There was powerful energy flowing within it, but this creature rapidly flew by, and Long Chen also didn't dare to look too closely for worry of it sensing him. Looking in the direction it was flying, it was clear it was going to the entrance they had come from. Probably someone exposed themselves, whispered Long Chen. The three of them stealthily crawled up to a slightly taller mountain. They quickly heard shouting and fierce whistling from the entrance. Although they had entered quite a while ago, they hadn't gotten that far. From here, they were able to still see the black mist. In front of the black mist was a man wielding a halberd and fiercely fighting that creature. He had done the same thing as many adventurers once they entered Devil Spirit Mountain. The first thing he had done was test his way back, which had activated the formation and drawn over this creature. At this time, Bao Buping and Chang Hao looked at Long Chen with admiration. If he hadn't warned the adventurers not to enter after them within the next six hours, the three of them would very likely have been implicated by this adventurer. That adventurer was a Jade Core expert. He was extremely powerful. But shockingly, despite his halberd being a king item, he was unable to do anything to this creature. The creature's wings had countless runes unleashing blinding light, and its sharp claws allowed it to fight the adventurer barehanded. Sparks flew and a metallic ringing rang out whenever its claws clashed with the halberd. Its claws and wings were both as hard as king items. This creature doesn't seem as terrifying as I thought. I could definitely defeat it, said Bao Buping. Although it was powerful, its aura was not in the Jade Core realm. Bao Buping had absolute confidence in easily defeating it. You're thinking too simply. That adventurer was most likely noticed because he touched the formation. In other words, he definitely caused information to be sent to the creatures overseeing this place. They knew it was just one ordinary adventurer, and that's not important to them. So they just sent an ordinary expert, said Long Chen. No matter how he looked at it, he felt this creature to be just like the winged devils he had encountered in the Jiuli secret realm. That raised his alarm. The winged devils were incredibly powerful, even after they had died. Just their skeletons possessed terrifying combat power. Just how powerful did they have to be when they were alive? This winged devil was the same size as an ordinary person. It was likely that it was the lowest level of the winged devils here. It was probably just a regular guard who came to eradicate the invader. A-H-H suddenly, a miserable scream rang out, rousing Long Chen from his thoughts. He saw blood mist erupt as that Jade Core expert was torn apart by the creature. After killing him, the creature looked icily around, carrying the adventurer's weapon. It flew away on the same path it came from. When it was near Long Chen and the others, Bao Buping wanted to attack it, but he was held back by Long Chen. Once it flew past, Long Chen said, This place is too close to the entrance. It's probably within the area that they monitor. Let's continue onward and get further away before we decide to do anything. They slowly continued forward. The entrance grew further and further away. Six hours later, Another powerful aura flew by, and the three of them hastily hid themselves. As expected, another adventurer had entered and immediately tested whether he could return. As a result, he touched the formation, causing him to be sensed. This expert struggled a bit before being slain by another creature. In front of it, these Jade Core adventurers had no ability to resist. Long Chen, what should we do? Bao Buping and Chang Hao stared at the creature. Long Chen clenched his teeth. Bring it down. After killing the adventurer, the creature gathered his weapon and flew away. But as it was flying, it suddenly saw a person in front of it. 
Bao Buping was blocking its path. Long Chen wanted me to ask you if you're a winged devil, said Bao Buping. The creature's eye shone with a fierce light. It opened its mouth, revealing a set of sharp teeth. Its mouth actually extended all the way to its ears. GGG. The creature laughed sinisterly, a laugh that could cause a person's blood to turn cold. Its sharp teeth flickered. It looked like a demon and sent a claw at Bao Buping. Jie your father. Taste my blade. Bao Buping snorted and slashed his broadsword. Bang. The creature's claws were shattered by Bao Buping's attack. It was not a match for Bao Buping. It let out a miserable cry. Not having expected the foundation forging Bao Buping to possess such power. The creature's aura was also on the level of the foundation forging realm. Yet, it was able to slay Jade Core experts with ease. Therefore, it could be seen how terrifying its power was. But this power wasn't enough when compared to Bao Buping who was at the ninth heaven stage of foundation forging. The creature turned to run, when Sword Chi slashed down from the heavens, landing on its back and causing blood to fly. Sensing the fatal danger, the creature hastily folded its wings, blocking Chang Hao's sudden attack. But now its wings were broken by Chang Hao's attack. At the same time, it let out a howl and began to run. But having lost its wings, its speed fell dramatically. A black martial weapon ruthlessly struck its head, causing its body to go limp and fall from the sky. Nice work. Long Chen grabbed the unconscious creature, flying back toward Bao Buping and Chang Hao. He pressed a finger to the creature's head and sent in his powerful spiritual strength. Soul Sark. Long Chen's spiritual strength invaded the creature's head, rushing into its mind sea. But suddenly, its head exploded automatically as Long Chen seemed to have touched some kind of restriction. Long Chen snorted and his spiritual strength enveloped the sky. The creature's scattering soul was still caught by his spiritual strength. Even these fragments could be useful to him. Fuck. We were noticed so quickly. Long Chen cursed. His expression changing. He sensed danger rapidly approaching. He grabbed the creature's headless corpse and flung it into the distance. While he fled in the opposite direction, the three of them had only just disappeared when over ten similar creatures rushed over, flying toward the headless corpse. These experts had terrifying auras. Seeing the headless corpse, their icy eyes were filled with killing intent. One of them waved a hand, and they all split up, searching for the killer. Long Chen, Bao Buping, and Chang Hao were hiding under a boulder. Long Chen had dug out a small hole for the three of them to hide in. As for the outside, he had covered their aura with medicinal powders and erased any tracks. Lying within this hole, none of them dared to move. They lay there for three whole days. Killing that creature had caused a huge disturbance. After three days of hearing them searching, things returned to calm. However, Long Chen knew that probably quite a few more adventurers had entered Devil Spirit Mountain during this time. Perhaps the creatures thought that the murderer was one of those adventurers and had already been slain. Now what whispered Bao Buping? Let's wait another two days for the disturbance to completely die out. Now that we're here, we're not in a rush, said Long Chen. Although the creature's head had exploded in the end, Long Chen had used the fragments of its soul to piece together some information. This information was extremely helpful to him. That risk had definitely been worth it. After two days, they stealthily crawled out of the ground and continued onward. According to that creature's memories, this location had over ten hidden sentries in charge of defending it. If a person touched the formation, one of them would go kill them. Due to its soul exploding, Long Chen wasn't able to get its complete memories, so he didn't know the location of those hidden sentries. But he could use his sense of danger to avoid them. As they advanced, they saw more and more marks of battle, as well as broken fragments of weapons. They even saw a few broken skeletons. Those skeletons were even harder than king items. There were some blood stains on the ground that still possessed auras that made their hair stand on end despite how much time had passed. A terrifying battle definitely occurred here before. Perhaps this is the battlefield from the Dark Era said Bao Buping nervously. The aura that came from the ground here made them feel a chill. There were definitely countless corpses buried here. Corpses of heroes slain in battle. Careful. Long Chen suddenly pulled the two of them to the ground. A flash of light appeared overhead. 